Jersey and I'm no one's count. But I ain't never met a hater like you. Tell me what you see when you look in my mirror and does it feel true? Every time I open my eyes, hey. every time I get fly, hey. when I do what I do, hey. don't hate the player, hate the game and the money make. Wait a minute, yeah, I could take it 30 times and you still go get it. How to the break, break, back, back, go. A microphone, check a product with black clothes. She's lying on the phone, urging you to leave your home. You better be careful. So we can win it now, yeah. Sometimes don't recognize game. Wanna hate me 'cause I turn around and take her to the track, man. When all I wanna do is my thing, yeah. yeah. Who hate? Him, them, her, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 ain't recognize game for sure, yeah. Blessings to everybody, man. Get up in here. Come on up in here, man. Let's fellowship about this game. Come on up in here, man. Appreciate that 10, fam. You know what I mean? Blessings to everybody. But yeah, I had to end that first live because when I came on, it was like I had to reconnect. And I'm like, I got perfect signal. Why would I have to reconnect? So it was already giving me problems, man. So I just deleted the first live. But you know what I mean? Look like y'all still came anyway. Some people probably still there, like, what's going on? <laughs> but eventually, uh, I think they'll make their way here, so it is what it is. But yeah, man, early morning game with it, man. What's going on with it? Blessings to everybody. Hold on, let me set this up. Go get your fruit. Go get your water. Hey, man, so you can digest this game better. Yeah, go get your water, go get your fruit so you can digest this game 
or better. I promise you, if you put some fruit in your body, if you drink some water, you'll be able to receive this game better. I never got the first notification. Oh, okay. Well, this is what it is from now on. At 10 o'clock, EST time, we will be having morning game. So you don't need no notification because I already gave the notification when I told the whole congregation that we was going to come on one accord at 10 o'clock EST time to have early morning game. You know what I mean? So we don't need YouTube to inform us when we going to be live. If we not live at that time, it's because something had transpired or, you know what I mean, God forbid. But yeah, we don't need no, yeah, 7 a.m. West Coast time. That's right, Prince. You know what I mean? Good looking. Uh, Cause I got a lot of West Coast folk up in here. So, you know, seven o'clock in the morning, y'all time, which, you know what I mean? Because of the pimping and the hoeing, you know what I mean? Seven o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? Most of y'all still down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's never too early, you know, when it comes to the game, you know, because, you know, most of y'all still down in the battle right now. Some of the pimps right now driving around, you know what I mean? Listening right now, but still campaigning. You know, shout out to King Difference. You know what I mean? Shout out, man. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say young P uh not gonna say young P name. That's one of the loved ones, but he recently just caught a little something. I'm, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind, but no, he just caught a little case. I'm not gonna call his name right now. You know what I mean? When he get through, you know what I mean, with that little situation, then I sit up there and call your name in the congregation. But right now, no. When the Pippin be catching a case or anything like that, we are not on that. All right, hold on. Okay, there we go. Folks texted me about nothing. You know what I mean? But how y'all feel before we get into this game? How y'all feel about it, man? How y'all feel about God waking you up another day? In spite of what your enemies think about you. In spite of what your haters think about you. You know what I mean? God thought about you today. And that's why you're here. In spite of what's going on, in spite of the situation, in spite of the current and temporary, maybe bad circumstance, you know what I mean? God thought enough of you today to wake you up and give you the activity of your limbs. Whatever is wrong in your life today, guess what? You got another opportunity, you know what I mean, to change it today. You got another opportunity to change it today. You might not like the way you look. You might not have the degree that you want. You may not have the house, the car, the jewelry, or the woman, or the women that you want, or the man that you want, or maybe the men that you, you know what I mean? Or maybe you're not checking it like you're supposed to. Whatever is in your life that you don't see, you know what I mean, that you feel that's not right, or you know that's not right, today you got another opportunity to endeavor to make it right. You know what I mean? And we don't want to waste time. We want to redeem the time for the days of evil. You know, now, as far as somebody asked about the Sunday fellowship, I was actually going to go live and ask everybody because the statement was made to me by a minister that I respect. And, um, you know, uh, this minister, of course, was in another congregation, but I had so much respect for him and still do. And, um, you know, he said, man, you know, I've listened to the messages that you preach and man, you just got it. Even while you backslidden and doing the things that you're doing, you just got it. He said, but some individuals, you know what I mean? It is going to confuse them simply because by you still being active in that lifestyle, the things that you're saying are accurate. But at the same particular time, you know what I mean? One minute, you know what I mean? You're talking about the word. Then another minute, you know what I mean? You're talking about pimping and you know what I mean? Even though you made it known to the people that you're a backslider and you're not currently living for God, but you do have individuals who have different comprehensions and everybody comprehend differently. Everybody see things differently and you can't fault people for seeing things differently. That's their perspective. Now, of course, my common sense would say if I go to a person's pl uh, platform and I find out that your name is sinful to pee, I'm not going to think that you're a righteous man. You're pretty much letting it be known that you're not an angel, <laughs> that you're not a man of God. So in all actuality, 
You know what I mean? You just giving me some information that I could actually utilize to be a blessing to me. But currently, you know what I mean? You're not living according, you know what I mean, to that particular lifestyle. You've made it known to me by calling yourself sinful the P. I don't know no righteous men that call themselves that. But you do have some people uh, that would still be perplexed by that. So I wanted to go live. I'm going to end up probably going live this week. And I'm going to ask the YouTube fam. I'm going to ask you guys. And I want you to be blunt with me like I'm blunt with you. Because if I seen that you were wrong and the game sent me to correct you or rebuke you, you better believe that I wouldn't spare you. You know what I mean? The same way that Samuel used to come with the sword when God told him, you know what I mean? When God told King uh, uh, Saul to King King uh, Agag and, you know, God said, kill everybody. Don't spare nothing. And, you know, of course, he didn't obey. But when Samuel came through, it was a whole nother story. I'm just like Samuel. I wouldn't spare you, so you shouldn't spare me. So anytime that I'm incorrect on anything, and I give you the opportunity to uh, reprove, by all means, you have nothing but opportunity and liberty to do so. You know, this is not a, uh, you know, uh, one of them places where the people don't get to speak. Also, let me say this. We have a new feature that the people now can go live with me. All right. So I think you guys would like that. If you are already at the Sinful to P and family channel, which everybody should be, because I created that channel to be a blessing to everybody. I'm not charging nobody nothing. So if it's your music, if it's your business, uh, maybe you're an actor, rapper, you may be a talented, you know, individual. And, um, you know, you want to promote whatever you got going on. That's what that platform is for. So everybody should be at the Sinful to Pee in the Family channel because I'm promoting the family. I want to help you get out of the comment section and help you create your own platform. Don't worry about me. The game is send more people in your stead. Some of you are so gifted. And you're watching everybody else tell their experience or share their knowledge or promote whatever they got going on. What about you? What about you? And that's what we're talking about today. Some of you have been sitting down under this game and listening to this game, you know what I mean, for years now. You know what I mean? You gamed up, you know what I mean, and you ready. You ready to evangelize this game rather than just sitting there, you know, listening. Come on, man. We're not like... Most uh, religious folks at these congregations just listening to a preacher preach every Sunday and not doing anything with the game, not doing anything with the word. You know what I mean? I know some churches like that. Pa pastor uh, just be preaching and ministers just sitting up in there 20 and 30 years. You know what I mean? Nobody go out into the field and evangelize. Nobody go start another congregation. They just comfortable just sitting down, you know what I mean, on their ministry, waiting for another man you know what I mean? To call them up, you know? And so that's, I don't want you to become like that. I don't want you to be in awe of everybody's gift. I want you to, if anything, I want you to stir up the gift that God has put in you so you can do your thing. And so you can check it off doing your thing. You did? So yeah, man, put the uh, link to the Sinful the P and the family channel and give the people opportunity to come to that platform. I just want to make that uh, known. Uh, you know, and of course, again, if you're starting a platform or you promoting a business or whatever you got going on, by all means, come to the platform. Uh, blessings to all the ladies. I appreciate all of you being in attendance on today. You know what I mean? Because I'm tired of looking at these ugly ass niggas. And ladies, I appreciate, you know, God for waking your fine ass up another day. See, I don't feel like I'm fine. Baby, what you feel is not real. You know what I mean? You still fine. You know, now you probably need to brush your teeth. Your breath is probably contrary to what I want to smell right now. Amen. Uh, I, I hear, you know, the word of the Lord saying, whatever thou doest, do it quickly. Amen. I don't want you to, you know, uh, be listening to this game. You know what I mean? And your breath is contrary to the word, the will, this game, my nose. You know what I mean? Get up right now. Amen. And do not listen to this game if you know your breath is not on one accord 
with this game. Could you do me a favor? Get my likes up before I get started. Because you know, once I get started, I'm going to get started, you know? So do me a favor. Get those likes up. We got almost 600 people up in here already. And we only got 235 likes. You know what I mean? Don't disrespect the game like that. I never ask you for any money. You know, I appreciate all the financial contributions that you're seeing. Cash App, PayPal, Super Chat. You know what I mean? If you want to send me a super trap. But you know what I mean? I appreciate you for all the financial contributions. But the greatest contribution that you can give to this platform is helping me get those notifications out. You know what I mean? And help, helping me get all the recommendations for the video so the game can be heard. So I need everybody to come on one accord and hit the thumbs up button, which is the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you're enjoying the content, make sure that you click on the subscribe and the bell button. So whenever I go live, you'll receive a notification so you can join the live conversation that I'm having with the congregation. Blessings to you. But before I get started, Jay, appreciate that five. Good looking. Blessings to everybody. You understand me? Hold on. Somebody had already. <sighs> Let me see before I lose the brother. Sexy Slim, the goddess. Baby, I, pre I like that profile. Yeah, hold on. I got I to gotta, I gotta do it. Hold on. And shout out to Brandon. I see you coming in with the cash app. You know, but hold on. Every time I see a profile picture that I like, you know, hold on. Let me, let me turn on how I feel about I seen your profile picture, baby. I felt like this. Oh, my shatter. Shatter, I'm sick of the bow. Bleba, ha, 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 ha. Oh, my shatter. Shatter, I'm sick of the bow. Bleba, ha, 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 ha. You know what I mean? Shout out to <laughs> Oh, you know I gotta use the I gotta keep using that. Shout out to Denise. Shout out to all the ladies. Hold on. Um this contest. Appreciate that. Uh hold on. Let me we'll see what you say. Appreciate that two dollars, baby. Appreciate that. Cracks me up every time. Yeah. Every time I see a fine a fine ass woman in my comment section now, that's just how seeing gonna feel. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like Oba Shata. You know, Bill, what's happening with it? Hold on for a minute. Wasn't Pimp Sharp? Uh, yeah, we can't do that. Let me let me say this. Uh, we're not bashing. Uh, this is not the bash sharp uh, platform. This this not that. Uh, I've said some things and I probably will, uh, <laughs> you know, sin cut everybody. I mean, shit, I cut myself and if, if you got to be scared of a nigga that roast himself. If I've checked myself, if I, you know what I mean? Tell you, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the times where I came short in the game and reprove myself in front of you, why you think I wouldn't correct you, 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 and, and whoever, you know what I'm saying? So you might not want to be cool with sin because you know, I'm one of them, uh, as I like to, one of them in this capacity, not all, but I'm a Charles Barkley motherfucker in that regard. You know, anybody knew anything about the friendship that Barkley had with Jordan, you know, uh, they were cool at one point, but Barkley criticized Jordan, you know what I mean, um, as an owner, the way he was presiding over things, you know what I mean? And he criticized that, and uh, Jordan thought that because they were cool, that because of their relationship that, you know, Barkley wouldn't do his job. And as a result of that, they're not cool today. And in that regard, if I can't criticize you, if I can't tell you when you're wrong, if I can't give you an honest perspective, you know, on that, then no, we should not be cool. We shouldn't be cool. I don't, I, honestly, I don't really think nothing of none of you. I've never met one pimp. I never met one man that was that honorable to me, that was uh, an idol to me to the point where he can do wrong in my face and, you know, uh, continue just to just complete, completely blatantly, you know what I mean, do things that's contrary to that which is right and I don't call him out on it. So no, we probably shouldn't uh, be cool. So no, you know, uh, I like Sharp, but I don't, I'm not, 
a praise and I'm not on Sharp's praise and worship team. So by me not being on his praise and worship team, like a lot of you, I'm not uh, a fan looking for an autograph. If I see him say or do something contrary to, you know, what I think is right, you know, if I speak on it, I speak on it. But that ain't for you to be, uh, you know what I mean, in the comment section, you know what I mean, uh, thinking that me and you going to come on one accord to speak on another man or you twerking in my comment section, especially if you're a woman. If you a woman, see, see, hold on. Before I get, I hear the game saying that I have to play it. I'm sorry. See, you always playing too much. I'm sorry. This is early morning game. We, we, we own this. But listen, hold on. Let me, let me just play this. Listen, people be when you, whenever a woman speak negative on a man, and you sitting over there laughing and kikiing and all of that with the bitch, you might as well put your daisy dudes on. It's time for the percolator. You might as well put your daisy dudes on and sit up there and pop your booty with the bitch and start doing this. Come on. It's time for the percolator. 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 Percolator. Anytime where he a bitch, he ain't shit. He never was a pimp. But didn't you pay him, you know what I mean, eight years? Yeah, but that nigga ate my booty. He ate all the other hoes booty. He ate Square's booty. But wasn't he doing that for years and you still stayed there? Yeah, but that's beside the point. I'm exposing him now and I want you to expose him with me. Anytime a bitch get on a slander campaign and you sit up there and co-sign the shit and you kick in with the bitch, you might as well. Go ahead and put on put, put some uh, shorts on and have your cheeks all the way out and sit up there and dance with the bitch like this. the bit. Oh, Sepulpa the Prince, he ain't this. And I gave Sepulpa the Prince, you know, I gave him a Rolex watch, and he only got me a Louis purse, you know what I mean, in the outfit. And I'm still at the same condo. I want a house in. I gave him that Rolex so he could put me in a house and I'm in a condo and he just bought me a Louis purse and he's sitting up there putting new rims on his beds. He didn't sit up there and decorated the beds. He got some the prints all in the headrest. He didn't bought new jewelry. He ain't shit, sin. And I'm here to tell you that anytime that you listening to that shit, and you sitting up there, yeah, he ain't shit for that. And you sitting over there, you understand me, agreeing with the bitch. Yes, you'd be doing, you you might as well go ahead and put your hands on your thighs and twerk your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know the game was going to lead me to rebuke. See, the game got me rebuking already, and I ain't even got started. You know what I mean? Some It's somebody in here right now. You just got through sitting over there having a Tasha K specialty Wendy Williams conversation with the bitch all night. Now you about to be in my comment section. That's right, P. That's the game, P. Come on, P. Teach, P. You know what I mean? In the game, the game ain't got me saying this for nothing. That ain't nothing but the spirit of this pimping. The pimping coming all through here rebuking early this morning. 
Some of you niggas just got through. You had your face so up in the bitch ass, you could tell me where she ate two weeks ago. Stop eating her booty, fam. Stop agreeing with that bitch, disrespecting men. You know what I mean? She calling you nigga. She calling you dog. She calling you blood. She talking about on God in heaven. She sitting up there, you understand me? Putting it on the dead homies. Disrespecting him on the dead homies. And you just listening and laughing, you know what I mean? And kicking with the bitch the whole motherfucking time. Take your hand and smack yourself. Hey Amen. God woke you up another day right now to smack yourself. But uh, let's get back to this game. That I never left. Do me a favor. Could we touch 400 likes? Brown Hornet already come. Thank you for the respect. I appreciate that. A whole bunch of ones be the whole bunch of nuns any day, brother. I appreciate that, 10. Hey Amen. Plus, I'm broke. I'm not up here lying to you. I'm a millionaire. I have millions. I have businesses. Before I got on YouTube, I went, now, that's true. I did have money before I came to YouTube, but I wasn't no goddamn, you know, man, I'm a millionaire. I went to all of these, I graduated from Harvard. I went to Stanford to do this. I went to Berkeley to do that. You know what I mean? And then I wrote a book to do this. Then I got a national, uh, you know what I mean, uh, a prize right here. I got the national trophy, you understand, for the most educated student award. I got this. I got that. And then, you know, I, I tell you all of that. Yeah, I was mashing. I was on the E-1 fold. I was in the Union Square. I was sitting over there setting them down and keeping them around. I had their feet on concrete. I was robbing banks. I was killing niggas. I was, come on, dog. All my stories are real. Not only do, does the doc, I have documentation to give confirmation of what I'm saying, but I have other represent, representation of the game and people of uh, uh, representation of other lifestyles to confirm what I'm saying. These guys on YouTube just be telling y'all all type of movies and y'all be going. I can hear Mac Dre all in my head. Uh, going for it, going for mind tricks. You guys are just falling for, for mind tricks. Niggas telling you that they gangbanging, they was killing, they was pimping, they was uh, 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 te graduating from Berkeley, they was teaching third graders, they was winning this, they, they got multi-million dollar businesses. <laughs> like, come on, man. Just <laughs> Stop it. Miss me with the foolery, son. You know, but teach his own. I speak on that clown. You know what I mean? At another time. This ain't the time for that. It's time to get into this game. Now, the last message that I gave you, I spoke on, we walk not by sight, but by faith. And I hope that you listen to that message in its entirety. We don't walk by, you know what I mean, sight. No, we walk by the faith in our game. Even though that's knowledge come from spirituality, I told you, you know what I mean? The game is so uh, impeccable that it's applicable even to your lifestyle. Even in the lifestyle you live in, it's so imperative for you not to walk by sight, but to walk by faith, you know? But I want to speak on something, and I, and I already know that I'm not going to be able to finish everything. You know, it's so much of a buffet of game within this particular message that it might be a part two, three, four. I don't know, but I'm not going to rush it because I want you to have it. And as I'm teaching, when the spirit of the game speaks to me and tells me to stop, I'm going to be completely obedient to the spirit of the game. All right. To the spirit of pimping. Now, today, you know, just like we spoke on. You know, not walking by sight, but walking by the faith of this game and calling them things which be not as though they were and speaking nothing but positivity and success and game into existence, even in a bad circumstance, not emotionally reacting, but mentally responding in a, in a terrible circumstance. You know, we spoke on that. But today I want to give you this message from on high game from on high. I want to tell you that game without works is dead. 
I want you to get that in your spirit this morning. Gain without works is dead. Did you hear me? Gain without works is dead. I feel like Umar Johnson right now. That's how Umar be. You know what I mean? I'm going to say it again. Gain without works is dead. I, I'm, I, hold on. I think I'm going to say it the fifth time. Uh, Gain without works is dead. <laughs> you know, and many of you are knowledgeable of the scripture. And I just want to say to the agnostics that's listening, to the atheist that's listening, to the free thinker that's listening, to the deist that's listening, you know, whether or not you agree with the doctrines or, you know, the scriptures and, and things like that. You know, you might not be a spiritual or say, I'm not a spiritual, I'm not a religious individual. But one thing we can all come on one accord in agreement with that when something is sound, when it's logical, when it's meaningful, when it's powerful, no matter where it's coming from, you know, because we all, uh, all can agree that we don't agree with all doctrines. We don't agree with denominations and we don't agree with everything with you know, that religiosity is conveying to us but we cannot deny as the scripture said having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof but it's still a form what am i saying there's still some things within religiosity or whether spirituality you know what i mean that you even in carnality or whatever reality that you're in you can take the knowledge from that and still apply it to your life. And it'll be a blessing to you. Give my likes to 500. You know what I mean? It'll be a blessing to you, you applying the game to your life. Now, with that, a title like that, those of you that are knowledgeable of the word, you should already know where I'm getting my inspiration from. The moment when I said the game without works is dead, Immediately, you should have thought of the book of James, the second chapter, the 14th through the 26th verse. You know, when you it, I, don't, I just want you guys, those of you that are not knowledgeable of the scripture and you want to see the confirmation of the information that I'm conveying right now, you can go to Google. If you don't have a Bible with you, just go to Google and you will see that it's confirming everything that I'm saying. I'm not freestyle lying. I'm not just thinking of things out of my beautiful imagination. No, it says this in the word. Now, what it says in the word, of course, is faith without works is dead. Let me just speak on that just for a little bit. It's almost like a nigga telling you that I believe God to bless me with a job. Like, that's good, brother. Amen. I believe God going to bless me. God going to give me a job. God going to give me a career. He going to give me this. He going to give me that. I'm speaking it in existence. But if he never puts in the work, if he's not filling out a job application, if he's not going on an interview, if he's not applying himself to have that which he says that he wants, he won't have it. It's almost like a fat person saying that, man, I'm speaking, being in shape. I'm going to have arms and a chest like Craig Monson. I'm going to be built, you know what I mean, like Tookie was when he was in prison. You know what I mean? I'm going to be built like Arnold, man. I'm about to be, whoo, he just sitting in the chair watching the football game, eating chips and burgers, you know what I mean, drinking Kool-Aid with his feet kicked up. You know what I mean? With his stomach everywhere. He got an omnipresent stomach. But he's saying that he's going to have a body like Craig Munson. He's saying that he's going to have a body like Tookie Williams. Tookie Stanley, Stanley Tookie Williams. He's saying that he's going to have a body like the Honorable Chief, you know what I mean, Jeff Fort. You know what I mean? When he got out the pen one time and came out on swole. He's saying that he's going to be like this. But yet and still... He's putting bullshit in his body and he never works out. He never applies himself. How do you expect him to obtain, you know what I mean, that type of physique if he never applies himself? So he's speaking faith out of his mouth, but therefore by him having no works, 
his faith is dead. What am I saying? Meaning that he talking that shit, but by that nigga not doing shit, <laughs> that shit ain't going to work. So, you know what I mean? Some of you know what I'm talking about. You ever went to the gym with somebody and while y'all was sitting over there working out, you know what I mean, with the dumbbells and stuff like that, he do one good set. How many niggas know what I'm talking about? Nigga do one good set. And now he just all in the mirror for 10 to 20 minutes. Some of you know you really don't be working out in that gym, man. You really just be Instagramming. You ain't working out. You just be going to the gym really to sit up there and put on for Snapchat. You putting on for Instagram. You putting on for TikTok. You might be putting on for your Facebook. But you not really working out, though. You just go there to take pictures in the mirror. You just go there to sit up there, you understand me, and uh, do a cool little set. And then jump your ass in the mirror and flex a little bit. Appreciate that too. Blessings, fam. You know what I mean? And, 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 take, and be in the mirror for 15, 20 minutes. I'm here to tell you that you will not see any results doing that. You getting exactly what you came for. What you mean, seeing I came for the muscles? No, you didn't. Remind me when I was in prison. You had niggas that were serious. The OGs were serious about their workout. When it was time to do pull-ups and dips, when it was time to do burnouts, when it was time, you understand me, for uh, some of them, you know what I mean, a lot of y'all don't even know about that, the tornado, and you know what I mean, I know I'm speaking foreign languages, you know what I mean, to y'all. You know, burpees and, and things of that nature, you know what I mean, the OGs did not play. Young niggas sitting over there talking, rapping songs and talking about how what you know what they gonna do when they get out, cause they only got two seconds left to be in there, talking about shit that ain't got nothing to do with this workout. This OG got 15 years to do, 20 more motherfucking years to do, or 10 more years to do. You understand me? When they come out working out, man, move the fuck out the way. All of this talking that you doing, you messing up my pump. After you do one set, it's already bad enough that all you niggas are standing in line and then for you to sit up there and be talking. You know what I mean? An OG that's really serious about his workout, he going to step to you and be like, hey, 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 is you going to get your money or not? If you're not going to get your money, cuz, if you're not, hey, hey, move out my way. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to disrespect you, homie. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? This shit right here, you know what I mean? We do this shit for real. You know what I mean? So if you're not trying to, you know what I mean? You, if you want to talk, you know what I mean, man, go do that. Because you had individuals that would do one or two sets and then they walk around the yard with somebody, you understand me, for 30 minutes or an hour. And it's like, what the fuck you do a set or two for? Man, get out the way. You playing. You're playing. You know what I mean? You're playing. Ladies, what you, remember that time when that guy told you, you know what I mean? I'm a, yeah. And I'm going to sit up there and lick it like this. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it like this. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and rub that light. And I'm going to sit up there and do it that night. He talking all of this shit. I'm going to go ahead and hit it like this. I'm going to go ahead and lick it like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit it like this. I mean, he talking all of that shit on the phone. Got you wet in the motherfucker. He told you how big his dick is. He told you that he was going to sit up there and fuck you till the rapture came. He told you he eat ass. He told you that he be licking between toes. He told you that he was going to sit up there and take ice cream and, and put it between your booty. You know what I mean? And sit up there and do it. Man, all of that R&B shit you heard, he said he was just going, man, I'm going to go ahead and lick it like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit it like that. I'm going to go ahead and put it. I mean, he talking shit. Got you wet in the motherfucker. But oh my God, when it was time to put that work in, when it was time for all the talking to be over with, when it was time to get to it though, you know what I mean? And, and some of you ladies ain't never experienced this. This, this become, this, I'm speaking to the beautiful fine specimens of this world right now. But some of y'all are so thick. Some of y'all are so fine and attractive and your titties is game banging and your hips are saying hello before your mouth do. 
that he got so excited looking at you butt-ass naked that the nigga came before he even got in the pussy. Some of y'all ain't never had that, but I'm talking to, you know what I mean? Or, or you understand me? As soon as he got in, he did a pump and a half and it was over. He did a pump and a half and it was over. He did not even make it two pumps. But he was talking all of that shit. You know what I mean? Bitch was like, well, you know what I mean? Maybe that was just the first time he ain't had none in a long time. You know what I mean? So, okay. Maybe the nigga just ain't had none. He ain't had no pussy since Jesus was crucified. Okay, I'm going to give him some time to regroup. I'm going to let him redeem his stroke. I'm going to let him sit up there and have some reconciliation, fornication, you know what I mean, in this pussy. You know what I mean? Let, let, let's give him 600 seconds and see if he can sit up there, you know what I mean, and revive himself. You know, maybe he didn't jag off before coming. You know, this is how a lot of women be thinking. Maybe he didn't sit up there and get that first nut off. Okay, so now he got that first nut off. Let's see what it do. Then the second time come. Instead of a pump and a half this time, now he gave you nine pumps. And it still didn't lead to nothing. You know what I mean? Now you like, well, look, at least he, you know, he can't fuck. You know what I mean? It's over with. I really don't want to give him no pussy no more. But at least he can do, let me go ahead and ride his face. Let me go ahead and get mine. Let me go ahead and, and, uh, and, and do this and put this in his mouth. And now he acted stingy with the head. Or now he act, You know what I'm saying? He talked all of that shit on the phone. But when it got time to put in that work, though, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Or, or let's get out the bedroom. The, the times where he told you that he was going to do this for you and do that for you and how y'all was going to have that and how y'all was going to have this and how y'all was going to have that. Only, you know what I mean, to have a child or some children with an individual that didn't fulfill none of the things that he told you. Sold you a cold dream, but didn't have the information or the heart's desire to fulfill the dream that he sold. You know what I mean? He told, he, he, he might even be, was sincere. He might wasn't even charming and disarming you. He might wasn't deceiving you. When he said the things that he said, he was sincere about it. But I'm here to tell you that, you know, there's some guys that's sincere, but they just sincerely wrong. There's some women that's sincere, but they just sincerely wrong. You know what I'm saying? They When they were speaking, they weren't lying. They, they was actually for real when they said it. But because they didn't have, you know what I mean, uh, the game, and then some had the game, but just was have the spirit of procrastination. So the information didn't mean nothing. What am I saying? They, they, they spoke it. They had the information to do it, but they didn't put in the work. That's why it wasn't fulfilled. You know what I mean? Or how many of you gangster niggas, you understand me, when it was time to put in work, that nigga that was standing next to you, man, he was man. He got all the tattoos. He got all the guns in the picture. You go on his IG, his Facebook right now. You know what I mean? He got guns in every picture. He's sitting over there, you know what I mean, dropping rakes. Everything with him, you understand me, is just gangbanging. He just gangbanged the fuck out on the internet. He's always game banging. Whenever he go live, he disrespecting the dead. He disrespecting this motherfucker, this motherfucker. But when it was time to put in the work, though, when it was time to put in the work, though, what what he what he do? Though, let me out. Let me out. Those that remember boys in the hood. Though, let me out. When it got time to put in the work. He talked about how he wanted to kill this person, how he wanted to do this. But when it got time to put in the work, though, you know what I mean? Don't let me out. Don't let me out. You know what I mean? Them type of niggas talk all of that shit. Or how many motherfuckers you knew in school, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I'm with that, nigga. I'm talking about, it was some people that we was in school with. They had a cold bark game. They had a cold bark game. When it came to barking, second to none. They bark game was impeccable. 
They knew how to bark. What am I saying? They knew how to sell wolf tickets. I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah, nigga. Nigga, nigga, I'll fuck you up, nigga. Nigga, I'm with that. I'm like that. I'm like that for real, boy. He get loud. You know, motherfuckers, when they get loud, they think that, yeah, yeah, I'm with all of that. I'm with all of that, nigga. Yeah, 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 nigga. Just piss me off. Just say anything, nigga, and I just might pop off. And then when motherfuckers get hit in the mouth or sock one good time, wait a minute, where is that energy? Where is that energy, sir? Sir, why are you getting beat under this chair? Sir, why are you getting beat under this desk, sir? Sir, why is three, four teachers picking this person up off of you? Sir, why is your nose bleeding? Sir, why are you crying? That's them grammar school days. <laughs> but all throughout your life, you have seen individuals who knew how to talk that shit, say that shit, profess that shit. But when it got time to put in the work though, they took a little slight vacation, you know? And it's just like that in the pimp game. We have individuals that know how to talk. I can't even say talk good because everybody don't know how to talk good. You know, I know you was expecting me to say that, but no, everybody don't know how to talk good. You know, but they know how to talk, though. And they cold with the talking. They cold with it. You know what I mean? Cold with it. You know, we're going to speak on that. But let me just give you this. When I was living for God as a young man of God, I realized that if you wanted to be consecrated, if you wanted to be anointed, if you wanted to be knowledgeable you know what I mean, of the word of God and represent God the correct and right way, you had to put in time to study the word. I told you, Brother Stephen Davis, he was my Malcolm X. And the reason why I'm saying it like that, for those of you that know the history of Brother Malcolm and Brother Farrakhan, when I say he was my Malcolm X, that's how Farrakhan looked at Brother Malcolm. Malcolm was everything. Malcolm was the best definition of discipline. And so that's one of the reasons why we see Brother Farrakhan as profound as he is and we love him today and things like that. But, you know, what helped him evolve into the informative representative that he is today, you know, is because he had a great example to look at before he got the opportunity to be in that same position. It was Brother Malcolm. So Brother Stephen Davis was that to me. Brother Stephen did not just quote scriptures. Brother Stephen would actually quote the whole chapter. I would see this man as he would stand up and minister the word of God. He would just walk down the middle aisle or he would walk around in power hour. And the way that he would quote scripture, scriptures, I was amazed. You know how some people, while they're ministering, they just quote one scripture or two, you know what I mean? But this man used to quote the whole chapter. And I said, wait a minute, he's not looking at the Bible, but I'm looking at the word and he's saying it word for word. I was impressed by that. I was very impressed with his vocabulary. He was a walking dictionary. He was a walking epistle. He was the embodiment, you know, of knowledge and wisdom to me as a teenager. Brother Stephen Davis provoked many young people to study. You know what I mean? He was, he was tall, slender, just like Brother Malcolm. You know what I mean? And just knowledgeable, poised, disciplined, sharp, walked circumspectly. He was everything that I wanted to be as a young minister. There was other individuals that had some influences on me, but Brother Stephen Davis was my definition of consecrated. He was my definition of discipline. Not only did he have, you know, college education, but his knowledge of the word, it was amazing. So I wanted to be like Brother Stephen Davis. I wanted to be like Elder Ellis Jones. Elder Ellis Jones, when he would get up to preach, he would say so many historical, you know, I mean, facts, his historical game, his political knowledge. It was amazing to me as a teenager. I could not go to sleep. As he would teach, sometimes he would get up 
on a Friday night and have the opportunity to, you know, teach two hours. I can't say that for everybody. Some people I had to strive to stay up for it, but not with Elder Jones. Because you knew when Elder, Elder Jones would teach, you're going to learn. You're going to get something that you didn't know before. You're going to find out the root word of this. Uh, you're going to find out the origin of that, the founder of this. You know, he's a teacher. Uh, of course, Elder Redman. I can't forget Elder Carl Redman. He was, uh, you know, of course, before he got saved, he didn't even have a high school education. And to see somebody that didn't have a high school education receive salvation and now has went from not having a high school education to now having a Ph.D., you know what I mean, in education, you know what I mean? That is very, um, it'll compel you. If, especially uh, when you listen to somebody's testimony and they tell you that they was not academically successful. And now all of a sudden that they've given a life to God, you know, God has completely given them a, a, a different mindset. And now you're seeing it. You know, it's different from reading the word and looking at different examples, but to physically see it in your face. What am I saying? These people were amazing because they were putting in the work. You can't go from just not having a high school diploma and now you have a Ph.D., you know what I mean, in, in education. You know what I mean? I think he has another, uh, um, excuse me, excuse me, no, not education. No, 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 that's another L. He has a Ph.D. in psychology, excuse me. Um, and so, you know, to, he had to put in work to have that. You know, he had to put in work to have that. It was other brothers that I looked up to, you know, uh, physically, because, you know, when you wear suits, you know, uh, you want to look a certain way. If you're fat and you're just got that or maybe you solid like a bouncer at a, uh, a club or something. I mean, that's cool, but the suits don't hit you the same way. You know, the suits fit you better when you're in shape or you're defined, or you're slender. You know, I don't care if it's a Louis suit. If you're fat as fuck, or, you know, you got that bouncer at the club look, it's all right, but it don't hit like when you're in shape. It's not going to hit like when you're defined or you're slender. It hit different. That's what I'm saying to you. You have to put in work to even look a certain way. All throughout life, the individuals that I admire, they put in work for that. God has never sent down fire on an empty altar. You have to make sacrifices to receive the anointing and the power of God, even in spirituality. So even though I'm kicking game to people that's in the game, you know, what I mean, those of you that are not in the game, those of you that are in different walks of life, you know, the price of success is sacrifice. What am I saying? You got to put in that work. I'm even reminded of Lil Jojo, rest in peace. Lil Jojo used to have a song called Put In Work. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't put in work. That song used to go to rest in peace to Lil Jojo. But you know what I mean? If you don't put in work, you know, you're just talking. If you're not making sacrifices to obtain that or maintain that, you know, then no, you can't call yourself can't say successful, especially if no sacrifices have not been made. You know what I mean? You got to make sacrifices for that. What am I saying? In other words, you got to put in that work. You can't just wake up and be like, oh, I want to be an anointed preacher or I want to be an anointed teacher. Saints had to pray for that. They had to fast for that. They had to have shut out so they can have shut ins. They had to have a shut in. You know what I mean? Yeah, the saints used to have shut in. But before you have a shut in, you got to shut out. See, what's a shut out? You have to shut out everything that's unlike God in order to be consumed by the things of God. What am I saying? Sacrifices. Anything that did not exalt Christ or promote righteousness, a righteous individual that's seeking more righteousness of God abstains and refrains from anything ungodly. Why? Because they're seeking the anointing of God. So what I'm saying, you know, is applicable to all lifestyles. You know, you got to put in the work. You don't make it even in the word. You don't make it into the kingdom of God 
because you just know the word of God. As the scripture says, you know what I mean? I believe in um, James 4, 17. You know what I mean? Uh, to know the good and do it not, to him it is sin. You know, it, it, you know, you just can't be knowledgeable of the word of God. You got to be a doer of it. You got to live it. What am I saying? You got to put in the work. That's why the scripture said, let your work shine before men, which glorifies the father in heaven. I'm reminded of the great Malcolm X when he said, you know, if you're a representative, you got to be able to what? Present, represent, and defend. How you going to represent this game? Excuse me. How you going to present this game, represent this game, and defend this game if you're not putting in work to present it? If you're not putting in work to represent it? If you're not putting in the work so you can defend it? How are you going to do that without putting in the work? Got to put in that work. Do me a favor. Get them likes up to 600. Blessings to everybody. But um, that just had to give you the spiritual aspect. Now, when we look at social media, when we look at, let's go Instagram, we have many individuals who are knowledgeable of the game. They've watched plenty of pimp tutorials, uh, plenty of pimp videos, They've been following pimps on Instagram for quite some time. They've been following individuals who are respected in the lifestyle for quite some time. They have learned mannerisms. They have learned different quotes. They've learned, you know what I mean, different, you know what I mean, uh, 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 you know, uh, attire, you know what I mean, that pimps wear, you know? So they know how to get on social media and put on a good Oscar award winning performance because they, for a while now, they've been making observation of representation in the game through social media. Then some individuals have actually been outside on the bricks. They've been in, uh, on the concrete. They've been in pimp circles, fellowshipping with the pimping, listening, you know what I mean, to the pimping. In the game, but still not of the game, but still know plenty of conversations you know what I mean, about the game. And so they can repeat the talking points that another pimp might have conveyed on the phone or might have conveyed in person. And so what they do is they go into Facebook or Instagram and they take somebody else's intellectual property and they present it to the individuals who are novices in the game as if these are brand new revelations. We have individuals on dinosaurs, you know, uh, uh, um, what's uh, where was, uh, P Perspective, and shout out to him. He has a platform to go subscribe to uh, P Perspective, and, you know, Dinosaurs has a platform to bless us to both of them. Um, but we have individuals that know how to talk it. They know how to talk it very good, you know. When you go on there, you see all type of individuals professing to be a pimp and to profess, you know what I mean, that they got game. Everybody's saying that they got game. Even the guy that, you know what I mean, not going to say his name, but even the guy that got caught putting panties on. There, you know, he got caught putting panties. I think it's a video of him putting panties on. But yet he's on social media telling the young women to choose up with him but he's in a video putting panties on. You know what I mean? He's putting panties on. There's an actual video of him putting panties on. Now, I believe that he was high when he did it, but I'm sorry, but I mean, to each his own. You know what I mean? I, I, I wouldn't want to be, man, you got on panties. Man, I was happy. Hey, that shit, <laughs> I don't know if they going to roll with it, but hey, shoot your shot. But there's an actual video of him putting on panties. But yet and still, even with him putting on panties, even with him tasting pussy for a little bit of, I don't know the, the whole ordeal with that, the whole situation regarding that 20000 but it was kind of like a prostitution situation. It was nothing really pimpish about it. You know, and not only uh, eating booty, you know, and tasting coochie, you know, uh, and the bitch basically recording all of this. But with all of that that has been done, 
he still gets up and says that he's the voice of Pippin. That's the era that we're in right now. After all that came out about him tasting the booty, about, you know what I mean, it's, it's a possibility that he might have had some sexual dealings even with a trick. That's another conversation. But, you know, with all of that going on, he still has the gall to profess that he has game. See, saying that you have game, that's one thing. You know, man, I got game. I got game. You should pay me because of the game that I have. The, the game. You should pay me because of the game that I have. I mean, when you on IG, you see everybody talking about they got game. Niggas that ain't had a hoe in years, they saying that they got game. The game banger is saying that, you know what I mean, he got game. The guy that got caught, you know what I mean, wearing panties, he got game. And you wonder why these hoes be confused. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. Everybody hit the thumbs up button, get them likes to 600. But on social media, everybody's got game. Everybody's professing. Niggas is jumping out the garbage can. Motherfuckers is coming out the sewer, you know, professing to have game. You have individuals who don't take showers, they don't have good hygiene, but they know how to go live. They don't know how to brush their teeth properly. They don't know how to brush their tongue properly. They don't know how to floss properly. You know? But even by them not having good hygiene, they know how to go live, though. Do you hear what I'm saying, too? They don't know how to put deodorant on every day, but they know how to go live. That's crazy. You know? But you have all these individuals professing to have game. Even on YouTube, what do you see? You see individuals who, like Jay-Z said, you know, uh, was at their folks pad, scribbled in their notepad, and created their life. There's no history, you know, of them being in the streets. But they get on YouTube and create, you know, this whole false biography. You know, yeah, man, and you know, I mean, I don't even want to speak on it. You know, you got to buy my book, you know what I mean? But with me and the homie Ray Ray, you know what I mean? We was, man, this was way back. I don't even want to speak on it, but you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, we was doing crimes, man. We was heavy in the underworld doing crimes. Shit just, <laughs> we was heavy in the underworld just doing crimes, man. Yeah, you should have seen it, man, but... You know, I don't want to speak on it. That's why you should buy my book. You should buy my book. I see it's so much that I want to say, but I can't say it. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, you know, what, oh, are you saying that you got to buy? I ain't saying nothing, man. You got to buy my book. You know what I mean? Me and the homie, you know what I mean? We was doing this. and You know what I mean? But I, I, I don't want to speak on it. I was a cold pimp. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. You know, message from up here. You know, all of this shit. You have all these individuals who have actually watched Pimp up, Pimps Up, Holes Down. They've watched American Pimp. They have watched um, Bossing Up, Cross Country Pimping. They've watched The Mac. They've watched all of these films. They've watched uh, Pimps Talk on Instagram. They've been in lives. They've actually watched videos on YouTube of uh, pimps sharing their experiences in the game. And what they have done, these little Kelpie ass niggas, you know what I mean? The Dr. BOAs, the Saint and the Sinners, you know what I mean? What they have done is they have memorized the words that they were mesmerized by. And they just create a whole new character on YouTube. And these guys just, the gameless go for it. There's a population of just gameless individuals that's looking for a daddy. I'm going to speak, I'm not going to speak too much on this guy, but I'm just going to use him as an example. The guy, uh, Flacco, uh, if I'm saying his name right. You know, individuals that did not really have a father. So by them not having a father, you know, they're on YouTube looking for a daddy. Anybody and everybody 
can sit up there and charm them and disarm them out of some money because they didn't have a father putting in work. Oh, I'm teaching now. You know what I mean? They didn't have a father putting in work, so they always get that work by con artists on YouTube. Because they did not have a daddy, they're searching for a daddy. If you even look at the, the Saint the Center uh, interview on No Jumper, by the way, he lied, you know, mentioned my name, lied on me. Of course, if I was on a 5 million sub channel, I wouldn't even mention him. But I was so important that he decided to tell him, because I don't even know if that guy even had me on his mind. But they came on one accord, you know, for the questions that were going to be asked. And he actually spoke. If his name was mentioned to me in the interview on a 5 million sub channel, on an almost 5 million sub channel, I wouldn't even acknowledge. I would have said next question. Because he's not worthy for me to speak on on that big of a moment on that type of platform. No. I wouldn't even been thinking about him, but it just goes to show you the residence that I have in the small location called his mind. That he actually thought enough. Of, he was like, man, let me let me speak on sinful to be and then lied on me. You know what I mean? Just lied, just told a bunch of lies. You know, but we'll deal with that little fella. I'm not even knowing that right now. I'm just speaking on the fact that why you by, uh, by you fathers, I got to teach a little bit and just stay on this because I'm teaching, I'm talking to the fathers right now. By you not putting in work with your son or sons or daughter or daughters, you are making provisions for your child, for your children to be manipulated by somebody that don't give a damn about them. These motherfuckers on these social media platforms are just saying anything and everything to get everything out these old fatherless ass niggas. They got all of these fatherless ass niggas, you know what I mean, supporting a, a gameless ass nigga. But when you're a gameless ass nigga and when you're completely blind, you can't even see that the person that's teaching you is blind. And surely he has some education pertaining to something, but he uh, pertaining to this game. Have you noticed this? Have you noticed that he has challenged everybody's teachings? Have you noticed that he's trying to debate everybody's teachings? You know what I mean? Pertaining to whatever they was teaching about. But notice that none of these motherfuckers have ever challenged or tried to debate me pertaining to the game. Why? Because it's a waste of time. You're knowledgeable about whatever the fuck you went to school for and blessings to you on that. But notice that Dr. B.O.A. saying to send all your little favorite YouTubers, none of them motherfuckers will ever sit up there and challenge me pertaining to the shit that proceeds out my mouth pertaining to this game, though. That's what you would never see. And if you did actually see it, it, it would be comical. He would get chopped the fuck up. Why? Because most of the shit that he knows either came from Dre Freeze or myself or other little documentaries and films that he's seen. So you would never see. Now, me, on the other hand, I took that and I might even do that because I did it within a roast, but I never made a, an actual video. But that biggest video that Dr. B.O.A. has talking about the commandments of the game and all of that shit, in my roast, you see, I completely destroyed that shit. That shit was applesauce. You know what I mean? That shit was applesauce. Hold on, let me show you. Give me a second. I'm going to show you my purpose. There we go. Oh, 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 out of there. Out of there. That's my purpose, to hit the block button and block your dumb ass. That was my whole purpose today. Yeah, I'm teaching the game and everything, but God wake, woke me up so I can hit the block button and block your goofy ass off my shit. Out of there, out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my purpose, nigga. 
That's my whole motherfucking calling and destiny in life, nigga, was to get my handsome ass up and block your goof ass out my motherfucking comment section. That was my purpose in life, nigga. Yeah. Nigga gonna get his Sebastian ass all in my motherfucking comment section and ask a pimp a question. Nigga, you don't ask no pimp, no goddamn court, what's your purpose? Nigga, you don't even ask the bitch what's the purpose. You don't even ask that bitch that just called you a bitch, you know what I mean, what's her motherfucking purpose? Don't you get your motherfucking ass in my comment section twerking and shit and motherfucking lollygagging your pussy all in my comment section asking me a question. Bitch, what's wrong with you? You little niggas that lost your mind. The audacity. You know what I mean? What's your purpose? Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you, man. Hold on, stay right there. <laughs> Have patience. <laughs> Hey, do me a favor. Give my likes up to uh, 700. Everybody come up. Why you call them Sebastians? Hey, man, back in the shot, man. You know what I mean? Um, it was a dude in the hood. His name was Sebastian. And, man, this, uh, I'm not going to, I ain't trying to go there, but I'm just going to, he got, man, he was big for nothing. He was big for nothing. When I tell you that his mama came out, y'all better stop beating on my boy. Y'all better stop beating on my And we laughed, you know what I mean? And, um, of course, you know, our mamas got informed and it wasn't funny after that. But, you know what I mean? Y'all better stop beating on my boy. We used to beat that nigga up all the time. You know what I mean? He was just big for nothing. He was one of the biggest kids on the block. And he used to let motherfuckers that were smaller than him muff him. You know what I mean? Let me stop, because he might be a killer today. It'd be them motherfuckers that end up being the coldest killers. But, you know what I mean? For real, he was just big for nothing. He, he kind of looked like Brian Williams. Some of y'all don't remember Brian Williams. They used to play for the Clippers. They ended up playing for the Bulls. You know, and his, that Brian Williams situation was sad, too. But he was just big for nothing. Couldn't play basketball worth a damn, and he was tall and big. You know what I mean? Just He was big for nothing, man. When I tell you, I'm trying to remember this boy's name, he was calling him all type of bitches. Boy, get your bitch ass back in the house. Get, oh, that's what it was about. Scoop, my memory is impeccable. The boy, okay, this is what happened. My God, you got me. I got to get back to this game. I totally forgot about this, but thanks for asking this question. This shit just came out of nowhere. Listen, this is when NBA jams was hot. This was when all of us used to steal Game Pro books out the store so we could sit up there and have the codes to the game and shit. You know what I mean? This is before y'all era, man. This is some real Sega Genesis ass shit. 64 bit, you dig? So, you know, NBA jams was hot than a motherfucker at the time, right? And so... I ain't gonna lie, he had a nice mama. She was pretty too, you know what I mean? But man, he was just soft as hell. But, you know, he tried to invite us to the, uh, his place and shit, you know, because, you know, like a lot of y'all, y'all was trying to, you know what I mean, be cool with people who ain't really cool with you. And I never picked on him. I never, I never, no, I never did that. He kind of got smart with me one time when we was playing uh, basketball. He kind of fouled me hard. I told him, man, you know what I mean? If you elbow me again, I'm gonna whoop your ass. He ain't elbow me no more. But, okay, look, check it out. We come to his place, you know what I mean, to sit up there and play NBA jams. Plus, his mama didn't trip. Like, they had money. Like, my mama, I had to play Sega Genesis on the, the little 19-inch TV. Mama, like, you not messing up my big TV. We ain't got money like that. You know, because if you play Sega Genesis on the TV, you already know if you play too, uh, it, the, the lines going to start coming in the TV. Real Sega Genesis motherfuckers know. You know what I mean? Biggie said live niggas respect it. So look, man, you know what I mean? Uh, at my place, you know, we had to play on the little 19-inch, man. You know what I mean? I had a little 19-inch TV on a crate in my room. I'm just telling it like it is, man. You know what I mean? Seeing, man, you was broke. I was, man. 19-inch TV on the crate in my room, you know what I mean, with the radio, you know what I mean, in there too. Man, you couldn't tell me nothing, man. I was living life. But anyway, at his crib, everything was different. Like, his mama was like, 
like real polite. She was like one of the white mamas. Like she would like ask us like, was we hungry? Did we need any like cookies and stuff? Like he was really raised right. He really was a nice kid. They just ain't had no business on Cottage Grove, man. You know, we was little heathens. So look, check it out. Uh, the homie, <laughs> oh my God, you talking about bullying. When it got time for us to leave after playing NBA jams, because he, I ain't gonna lie, he was cold with that shit. Dude knew all the codes too. You knew, remember when NBA jams, motherfucker, he's on fire. You know what I mean? Like dude was cold and he used to talk shit during the game. So, you know, when you a punk and you can't fight, you know, you can't talk shit during no basketball game, man. That's gonna make a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you might've beat me in this game, but what about this fight though? Yeah, nigga, nigga, get in your face. Yeah, nigga, you beat me in NBA jams, but what about if I NBA jams your face, though? Yeah, nigga, on BPSN, nigga, you got me fucked up. <laughs> so look, after he had beat all of us, I'm just keeping it real, man. That nigga beat all of us. I'm not going to tell no lies. He beat all of our ass. I mean, he knew all the codes and shit, right? The homie said, fuck that. Uh, I'm taking this game. And he was like, no, man, that's my game, man. What are you doing? He like, man, listen, you could either make a big thing out of it, you know what I mean, and get your mama involved, but I told you, man, I'm taking this game. He, let me, he started instantly crying. Now, this boy at this time, man, you know, because we all like 11 and 12 years old, you know, he 13, he 13 and he taller and bigger than all of us. Man, that man started crying, crocodile tears and shit. You know what I mean? Because man, the little homie, man, we called him KJ for Kevin Johnson. You know what I mean? Uh, for the point guard for the Suns. You know what I mean? That nigga sit up there and said, man, I'm taking this game, man. On everything I love, nigga, on Chief, nigga. You better get out of my way, nigga. On Chief, nigga. You know what I mean? And he was like, man, don't tell my, don't take my game, man. Don't tell. He was like, man. If you cry and if you tell your mama, nigga, I'm going to kill you. On chief, I'm going to kill you, nigga. Now keep playing. And he, 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 stopped, he stopped crying and shit. But, you know, that's just, I always had a heart, man. You know, after seeing him like that, I ministered. I've been minister Farrakhan in situations my whole goddamn life. You know what I mean? Um, the Pippin just always been there. But, you know, me and KJ was cool, man. And I, and I was like, man, get that boy back. Because, you know, man, he going to. He going to tell his mama eventually is going to get back to all of us and we ain't going to be able to come outside, man. You got to give him back that game, man. You got to give him back to you got to give him back that game, man. He gave him back the game. But man, KJ gave him back the game and muffed him and everything. He was like, "Man, you lucky, man. You know what I mean? The homie said give give him back your shit cuz I was going to take your shit. Here, take your motherfucking game and muff the nigga." <laughs> And the homie was so short. You know what I mean? Dude, dude, like 13 years old. You know what I mean? And you you damn near six feet. Dude was like a good 5'11", man, at 13 years old. No bullshit. He's taller than all of us, man. You know what I mean? But he just was big for nothing. He was just big for nothing, man. I can't believe, Isaiah, you took me back, man, to my childhood, man. Yeah, that's them 54 from Cottage Grove days right there. Good times, man. Good times. This before, of course, we still had shootings, but not like now in Chicago. Like, you know what I mean? Them kids really can't have no no real childhood. I grew up where you could still have a childhood. You could The kids could still go outside. We could be in alleys and, you know, play on crates, you know, like young niggas do, you know? But anyway, man, let me get back to this game. Uh, sinful. I'm what, uh, what is a ghost, but laugh when you talk about the corny YouTube concert white people do, myself included. It, it is what we do. Man, hey, listen, no dis let me put this out there. I appreciate you even saying that. When I say the things I be saying, I just say things to promote laughter and, you know, bring joy. But I have nothing against white people or uh, people that are professional that basically, you know what I mean, uh, show uh, professionalism every day. I have nothing against you guys, okay? So if you're a subscriber of mine, you're a lover of the content, 
you know what I mean? I might say some things just to promote laughter, but I don't genuinely, sincerely, you know, feel like that. I love people of all color, races, and lifestyles, you know what I mean? So let me just make that, you know what I mean, known. I, but some of y'all do get sensitive. Oh my God, sin doesn't like white people, or sin doesn't like, man, I love squares. You never hear me saying shit like, fuck squares, or you never heard shit. You know why? Because I got family. And most of my family is what? Squares. Who taught us in school? Squares. Who taught you at church? Squares. It's some people that gave us some good game in community, in the community when we were coming up. And guess what they was? Squares. So it's never fuck squares. Never. Shout out to uh, Divine, man. Uh, Naomi, baby, appreciate that. You came in with it, didn't you? Came in with that 139 with that Canada. Ooh, glory to the game, baby. I appreciate that. Yeah, good looking. Shout out to you. Yeah, but shout out to Isaiah for saying that, man. And uh, and, and if this video make it to Sebastian, I don't know what you're doing in life now, but yeah, I still remember you, homie. I was just sharing that experience, man, for laughter. I'm pretty sure you're doing your thing now and successful and. I hope you're not a killer. I hope you're not, you know, because I ain't going to lie. A lot of niggas that was soft as hell when we were shorties, them niggas did. Some niggas evolved into monsters. Some niggas is still a bitch, but some niggas evolved into monsters, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, get, do, my, do me a favor. Everybody click on the like button. Shout out. Right. Shout out to Sebastian. I hope he's doing good. Right, right. Amen to that. But getting back to this game. That I never left, man. You know, I don't want nobody that. Nigga, my name's Sebastian. I don't want to be at a grocery store one day and a nigga come up to me like, yeah, nigga, I got picked on all my goddamn life, nigga. Nigga, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, it's that time. You see that fear in your eye, boy. Yeah, you was picking on Sebastian, nigga. I'm a Sebastian. Do something. Do something. <laughs> I don't want no problem. With the Sebastians, okay? So when I say that, I'm just promoting laughter. I know it's a Sebastian out there that can whoop my ass from here to Israel. I don't want no problems. Like that old man said on Friday, you want some of this too, old man? I'm here to tick. No. Okay, so look. <laughs> I'm a square, but I learned a lot from pimps like you and Freeze. Appreciate you. Brother, I appreciate you. And the five. Thank you. I appreciate uh, that. But again, <clears throat> that's what we going to call them. Little Kelpie ass niggas. The YouTubers, the Instagrammers, the Snapchat chatters, the Facebookers, all of these individuals that never touch concrete, have no history in the streets. These are little Kelpie ass niggas. Shout out to little Kelpie. It's no disrespect uh, to him, he got it. Me and the, you know, I mean, we uh, um, chop. He well, he said something to me briefly. We haven't really had a chance to, uh, you know, talk yet. You know, I mean, different people got at me saying, "Don't let him on the platform. Don't let him on this game. This platform too gamed up. He don't. Do One nigga, he said, I ain't gonna lie. This had me die. He said, man. So all I got to do is go on no jumper and get my ass beat by some dude named Almighty Suspect. And voila, I get to be on Sinful to P platform. Man, I didn't know it was that easy. <laughs> I died laughing. He like, damn, all I got to do, man, is get my ass beat by a dude named Almighty Suspect. You know what I mean? In front of the world. And then I get to just be on Sinful to P platform. I bet. I ain't gonna lie, that, that, that shit had that that shit had me dying. That shit had me dying. You know? But you know, before I get outside, let's just stay on social media for uh a little bit. Social media is filled with individuals who have beautiful words with no works. You don't know them. See, it's different. If I know you, notice that there's a certain respect that I have for Sepulveda the Prince. Why? Because Sepulveda the Prince, I met in the streets. Notice there's a certain respect that I have for Divine. 
even though me and Divine didn't meet physically, we know some of the same people. And he met them where? In the streets. He didn't have certain brides that I know that are active in the lifestyle. I know that he's in the streets. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Notice that when I'm speaking to uh, Gilbert, you know what I mean? There's a certain respect there. Why? Because we were cellies in prison. He's not a pimp. He's not in the game. You know, he used to be a game banger back in the day. But I respect Gilbert because I know him from the streets. I seen him one time or two before we went to prison. You know, before we were cellies in the pen. So the first time I seen him was actually in the street. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? There's a certain respect that goes to individuals that I know that be outside. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, videos talking to like random tourists and squares and shit, you know, um, in a casino, like just look at the individuals that profess to be of the game. What have you seen from them that shows you, you know what I mean, that they was in the game? What pimps know them? What hoes know them? How does the money know them from the game? Who know them? Nobody. You guys are easily deceived. You give your money and support to anybody that profess, you know what I mean, something that they clearly don't possess. They have no history. It's not even the mystery. We know that these individuals, you know what I mean, are charlatans. We know that these individuals are jesters. You know what I mean? No history. Ain't pimp nowhere. But you allowing these individuals to get on here. And I'm, I'll never forget. I mean, one time motherfucker actually had a, a ax a P. Ax a P what? You not no P? Man, take that P out the title. Another thing, I just want to squeeze. No, no, I ain't even gonna bother that. I ain't gonna bother that. I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna wait till later on to talk my shit. I gotta teach. Um, but again, on social media, you have so many individuals who are able to speak well. You have individuals that have taken talking points from other pimps, but they have no work. I want to ask you a question. What if they're a pimp, they done some pimping. What hoe have they produced? What women have they produced? Because you might not want to speak on your history, but if you have history, guess what? People that know your history will speak on your history. Do you hear me? Come on, I'm 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 teaching that. No need to speak on Kelby. You know what I mean? We done with that. We on 99th Street. Get off of 32nd. Come on. What woman have they produced? What women have they produced? Who have they had in the game? All of these guys talking about pimping, and it's mighty funny to me because in order to do some pimping, you got to have a hoe doing some hoeing when that happened. When that happened. When did you have a hoe doing some hoeing? When did you have some hoes doing some hoeing? When did this occur, sir? You said you were pimping. So I'm here to tell you that in this era that we're in, you know, it's a clout chasing era. So with that being said, if we're in a clout chasing era where everybody wants attention, surely... With all the women that you presided over in the lifestyle when you were active, or maybe you're active now, surely there would have been one woman, or some women, or a pimp, or a Mac, or a gangster, somebody from the streets that would have gave confirmation of your representation in the location of the streets. We would have had that. So again, I'm here to tell you that when you have put in no work, 
Individuals can't speak on you. Why? Because you have no work. It's like an individual telling you that they have music that's greater than Stevie Wonder. And they're saying this without having a catalog out there. It's like an individual telling you, you know what I mean, that man, I would have beat the shit out of Bruce Lee if we would have fought. I would have smacked the shit out of uh, Bolo in his prime. You know, but you've never seen this individual fight, though. You've never seen them in an actual fight. They're just talking. See, and I did see him. He was in the gym in shadow boxing. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Again, you know what I mean? You have never seen them in action. There are individuals that's going to be, of course, a vexation of spirit. Certain pimps are going to be upset seeing certain squares speak on me or others. Why? Because we're actually known in the streets. We have experience. And what I hate is when individuals try to manipulate you into, you know, no, I don't agree with that. You know, when you're in the game, you're not known. You're not known. I don't know what lifestyle you in, but it ain't this one. Because in the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing, ain't no way in the world you was coming to the track where pimps and hoes get famous at and don't nobody know you. Ain't no way in the world you was sending them outside and don't nobody know you. Because even if you tried to stay unknown, somebody would have gotten your business. It's inevitable. Somebody going to get in your business. One of them bitches going to get out of pocket. Somebody going to get knocked. If you keep sending them outside, eventually you will get a phone call. So even when you try to stay unknown, you're going to get known if you keep sending them outside. So it sounds like somebody had a girlfriend willing to do some favors and, you know, uh, collected, you know, a little percentage off of a girlfriend willing to do favors. And because they're listening to Too Short and Sugar Free and learning some lingo, you know, and then did the little Kelpie. P, what's the little Kelpie? When you're doing the little Kelpie, what that means is you watch somebody's interview and you try to regurgitate, you try to reiterate, you know what I mean? You try to repeat what has already been said, you know what I mean, by somebody. You took somebody else's experience and tried to make it your own. You tried to edit somebody else's testimony and put a few little ad libs on their shit and make it your own. That's doing the little Kelpie. Because little Kelpie did that with Sharp. And we have individuals right now that's doing the little Kelpie on social media. They're listening to the experiences of other pimps. They're listening to, uh, you know what I mean, the talking points of other pimps, the testimonies of other pimps, and taking them and trying to make it their own. They're doing a the little Kelpie. Dr. B.O.A., he's doing a little Kelpie. The Saint in the Center, he's doing a little Kelpie. Most of y'all dating coaches, if not all, they're doing a the little Kelpie. They're really not in the field. They're really not living a life that's real. It's not like that. Some, they got uh, having a, a, a rotation. They got a little population that they have a fornication with. But at the same particular time, they're trying to act like it's a macking involved or it's some pimping involved. And, you know, that's when they, you know, now you're going out your league. Stay in bounds. You're not doing any of that. Knock it off. Oh, man, she just paid my phone bill. Knock it off. Oh, man, she just bought me some brand new Jordan. Sir, knock it off. So we have many individuals professing to be this, and they're not this. It's completely disrespectful. They're doing the little Kelpie. And so that's what we're going to call it from now on. You know what I mean? When, so what's seeing mean by little Kelpie ass nigga or saying he doing the little Kelpie? These are individuals who have taken, you know, another person's testimony, taken another person's experiences, taken another person's biography and made it their own. They doing the little Kelpie, man. You know what I mean? Satan the sinner, one minute he's a gangster, one minute he's a pimp. 
One minute, you know what I mean? He's a teacher. One minute, he's a preacher. One minute, he's a successful business owner. One minute, it's just too much going on, man. It's too many movies. It's too way too many movies. Knock it off. I feel Pac all in my ear. Seen too many movies. You know what I mean? Nigga that don't rhyme. Seen too many movies. Stop it. You know, but moving right along, man. You know, it's benefits to being outside. Because see, outside, you get to see the advancements on the pavement. You know, I know uh, advancements on, yeah, yeah, the advancements on the pavement. You know, of course, everybody, and I'm not, no disrespect, but I always want you to separate yourself from everybody else. Notice that I don't like to kind of even use that word elevation. Why? Because there's so many representation in the game that's using that. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? We doing this to elevate. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you going to elevate with me, baby? When you going to go from being in the Uber and the Lyft to being in the passenger side of my ride? You know, elevating. You know what I mean? Let me elevate you. When you going to go from eating McDonald's to Burger King? Let me elevate you. When you going to go from a motel to a hotel? Let me, up, let me elevate you. <laughs> when you going to go from Applebee's to Olive Garden? Let me elevate you. <laughs> you know, like I'm I'm they made me tired of the word elevate. They have made me tired of the word. I don't even like using it. You know, yeah, man, we do it for elevation. We do we doing this shit to elevate. All the game bangers is even saying in that. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's all I want to know, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, what you doing to elevate the bitch? You know what I'm saying? Because, my nigga, you trying to speak on my motherfucking pimping and my cripping. Everybody know if you sit up there and look at it, how I'm doing shit around this motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing my thing, my nigga. I'm elevating the bitch. You know, I'm all about elevation. I'm tired of hearing it. Even the bitches, even they raggedy ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I choose up with you, like, what you going to do with the money? You know what I'm saying? If I give you this little $280 that I made today that I'm lying on social media saying that I made $900 off of one date. But if I give you this little $280, you know what I'm saying? What you going to do to elevate? What we doing? What we doing? <laughs> what is we doing? If I give you this little $280, how you going to elevate me? I want to know what's, the, what's up with the elevation? How a bitch going to get elevated? A bitch trying to get elevated, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, speak to me. Let me know. You know, let me look at the pimp menu. What's on your menu? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The game different now. Y'all used to interview us, but now we interviewing you. So what you got to offer me? I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, is you going to elevate a bitch? I'm trying to, a bitch trying to get elevated. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm tired of hearing the word elevate. They have, <laughs> they use that shit way too much. Way, I'm tired of hearing that elevate shit. Tired of it. You know what I'm saying? A bitch trying to get elevated like, okay, if I choose up with you, like, how long, you know what I'm saying, do a bitch gotta be down before I see, you know, some residuals. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how long a bitch got to be down, you know what I mean, to start seeing, you know, the incomes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be all in your business, but a bitch just need to know, like, how I'm going to be elevated. Where is the elevation? The elevation. Where is the elevation? No, hold on. Then they try to rhyme. Where is the elevation with the situation? You know what I mean? How am I going to get elevated? And now the bitch thinks she sounds smart. It just pisses me off. It completely pisses me off. It is a vexation to my spirit when I see these dumbass bitches trying to act smart. You know, I had to leave. Okay, so why you go to your second pimp? Because I just feel like he wasn't doing nothing with a bitch. Like, okay, like, uh, you told me when I got here I was going to get pimped on. And, you know, he was just sending me to the track. And 
It's like, come on now. I've been here for four days. And you just keep sending me to the same track. Like, uh-uh, I was just over it. It was just no elevation. It was no elevation. I was giving him, I'm giving you all my money. And the bitch ain't giving him nothing but 180s and 230s and 310s. And she talking about something, I'm giving you all my money. And I just felt like I just, it just wasn't no elevation. It just wasn't no elevation. Okay, what's up with your next situation? Why you what what happened with the third pimp that you chose within the week? Chow, I mean, like, he was like doing all the riddles and putting all the syllables together and trying to rhyme and trying to say something profound all the time. But, you know, I was just looking at his bitches and I'm like, I look better than all of these hoes. I got to go. Uh-uh. I was looking at uh, baby girl's hair and I seen her little edges and shit that was holding on by the grace of God. I had to go. I was like, no, there's no elevation. It was no elevation. I had to go. Okay, what happened with the fourth nigga? What happened to the fourth pimp that you chose within that week? Okay, first it was all good because... He pulled up playing Mitchie Slick. That's how he knocked me. Because everybody know I love Mitchie Slick. He pulled up. I should have made a left. Should have made a right. But I'm going down Imperial. Because I'm out here. You just playing that song. I'm like, hold on. Should have made a left. Should have made a right. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I got in the car. And we was just chilling. Like, we smoked some weed. We chill, like, okay, I'm like, okay, I'm feeling your little vibe. I'm feeling your little vibe. And so, you know, we chilled and everything, but I just wasn't with it. What happened, girl? You said the vibe was cool. What happened? It was just like, after the third day of me being there, and, you know, we had already fucked on the second day, and I thought everything was cool. So I was trying to sit up there and get it again. But he talking about, nah, we can't fuck right now. I said, why? He was like, because my bottom bitch here. I was like, oh, no, I got to go. I got to go. No elevation. No elevation. I have to go. No elevation. No elevation. So what happened with the fifth nigga you chose that week? Like, <laughs> again, I'm just tired of the elevation. I'm tired. I'm to the point where I don't even want no. I don't want to be elevated. I don't want to elevate nobody. I'm just. I don't even want to. I'm, I'm tired of the word. I damn near want to hang up the phone when a bitch even say that within a. You know, I'm just. I'm just been in the game. Just I'm like. I'm just paying. And then it's always the blase, blase bitch. You know, she just. She just sound like she how all the time. You know, I'm just tired. It's like. I done paid everybody. Like, seeing I really paid my dues. And I really, I just, a bitch just want to be elevated. That's all. I just want to be elevated in the game. Like, I gave what's the name two years. I gave other, I gave what's the name two years. I gave Pimp this two years. I gave Mac this one year. I gave Pimp this two years. And I paid all of them niggas, but they didn't elevate a bitch, though, seeing. You know, like, where's the elevation? When am I going to be elevated? Like, I'm just tired of that shit, bro. For real. Like, the moment that a bitch say uh, elevation, in my mind, I'll be like, yeah, this ain't going to last long. This ain't going to last long. She already, she already... <laughs> She already just said elevation, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's, she one of them elevation bitches. You know what I mean? Nine's out of ten, this shit ain't gonna last long. It's gonna be a, a, a motherfucking, you know what I mean, fly by night, man. The bitch already said elevation. Do me a favor, get my likes up. Yeah, let's touch 800, man. We should have been to, we should have been at 1,000 likes by now. Y'all tripping. Yeah, everybody click on the like button. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to continue until those likes say 800. Yeah, we should have been over that, man. Y'all y'all seriously tripping. Seriously tripping. 
yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait on y'all. You know what I mean? Once I see them likes, you know what I mean? Touch 800, you know what I mean? We could proceed on with this game. But, yeah, y'all y'all killing me right now. Okay, we over 800. Okay, okay. All right, go ahead and touch nine then. Go ahead and touch nine. Nah, I'm just playing. But look, okay, but nah, I'm not really, you know, touch nine. But, uh, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Outside, you get to actually see the work. Not saying that you can't see it on the internet, but what I'm saying is outside, you can see a person's advancements on the pavement. Saying, what do you mean by that? If he's pimping, and if he has this woman, and I've always told you that if you take care of one, others will gravitate, others are gonna come. You know, but if you're constantly seeing this woman, she's dressed well, you know, she's dressed, you know what I mean, fly. She's always happy. She's always smiling. She always got a pep in her step. She just got the joy of hoeing. You know, then big head bitch that, you know, is observing this, you might want to sit up there and have a conversation and do some participation in that situation because, you know what I mean, that from the outside looking in, you know what I mean, hey, you know, she's dressed accordingly. She's not socializing. She's in and out of cars. Or if you're in the casino, she's always at a trick's face. She's not at a bar where pimps can sit up there and continuously, you know, sweat her, you know, doing things for attention. She's always in a trick's face. What am I saying? She's always endeavoring to put in work. She's not on Instagram all the time going live in a hotel room professing to be the biggest hoe in the game and have nothing to her name, has nothing to show in the game. We have many bitches that are pretty bitches, but they broke bitches. They don't have anything going on. And by you guys giving them the praise and worship service that you're giving them, they feel like they don't have to put in the work because they get the attention without putting in the work. So a bitch don't have to really put in some hoeing to get popularity in this era. She can have an argument with another bitch or she could just be going outside to the Blade or wherever she goes to a resort, casino, wherever she goes, and she can pretty much take pictures. She can take pictures, she can take videos, and she can just put a hoish caption up and individuals will talk to her like she's that bitch. And I've seen many of you know that certain bitches is broke. They really don't have nothing going on. But because the bitch is pretty, you allow the bitch to act like, you know, she's arrogant and sedated. You, act, you, you allow this bitch to talk as if she's that girl. And you've been seeing this bitch constantly in a hotel room for months now, some a year, some even longer than that. This is where she lives. There has been, hold on, let me use one of y'all words. There has been no elevation, elevation. There's been no type of improvement. There's been no development. There's been no advancement. You have not seen it. All you've seen is a pretty face, some nice titties, a nice ass, but see, that's how I know you're not a real pimp. Because all real pimps got this one thing in common. Hey, man, uh, once we see that a bitch not really about this game or don't have a sincere desire to be about this game, especially when this game has been represented and presented to her, you know what I mean, eloquently, man, and you know what I mean, really with some cold elegance and intelligence, you know what I mean, the niggas really been putting in the diligence to have the bitch, and she's still sitting over there speaking in the language of stupidity, Hey, man, the pimp not even going to bless the bitch back getting into a continuity of speaking to her, you know what I mean, again. You know, because the pimpin' is possessed by the spirit of flyness. You, not want, you don't want to put in no work. You just want popularity. You don't really want to be rich in the game. You don't really want to have shit. You don't really want to have anything to show for your horn. You cool with a hotel room. You know what I mean? And a few fake Louis bags, an iPhone, and going live on Dino. <laughs> oh, my God. I just described. Damn, I just described so many right now. A huge population. 
you're cool with a hotel room, an iPhone, a few little hoe fits, you understand me, and going live on Dino. That's all you want out the game. Don't want no success. Ain't thinking about getting rich. Ain't thinking about having shit. Ain't thinking about no goddamn money. Man, you be these bitches be rival gang members of money. Bitch just want to, she's just into attention. And what I want to say to you guys, you're enablers of that. When you know that a bitch is not about this game, has no desire to be about this game, but yet you still, you know, compliment her and exalt her as if she's that bitch in front of motherfucking hoes that's watching. You're part of the problem. You're, problem, you're part of the problem. She has not put in no work. What pimp has she chose? And then let me tell you, let me ask this. Okay, if you say she chose up with somebody, what, did, what happened in that situation? What pimp, with them brides that you be worshiping, with these brides that y'all be having praise and worship uh, service for, you know, on Instagram, uh, what pimp have they put in a mansion home? What, what, what cars have they put, you know what I mean, a, a pimp in? What businesses do these pimps have that's successful as a result of their home? What benefit did he gain by dealing with this Boston baked bean head ass bitch? What was the benefit? Some of y'all be having praise and worship service, man, for some goddamn beautiful trash. That's exactly what these bitches is. They're not hoes. They're just beautiful trash. Beautiful trash underscore 304. Beautiful trash underscore that bitch. Uh, beautiful trash underscore dino star. You know what I mean? Beautiful trash. Beautiful. Some of these girls are very pretty, gorgeous, attractive, all of that shit, but just they're trash. Beautiful trash. And I'm here to tell you that whether it's beautiful or whether it's ugly, it's still trash at the beginning, middle, and end of the day. Beautiful trash. You are an enabler of bullshit and you're helping fags increase in faggotry by, you know what I mean, still exalting these bitches that have done no nothing for the game. They put in no work. But you be speaking to them with respect as if they have. Some of you niggas are allowing bitches to tell false whole testimonies. Oh, let me just speak on that for two seconds. Some of you niggas be lying just so you feel like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? I got action with the bitch. And, you, and I, well, how many times have I told you that? Action is transaction. Action is not following you. Action is not liking on your pictures and videos. Believe it or not, a lot of these bitches are following tricks and they like on their pictures and videos too. What the fuck you impressed with that for? These bitches like on tricks pictures. That's how you knew when I was cutting into Dr. B.O.A. Look how his trick ass responded. Oh, he talking about me. I got plenty of bitches in my phone. You calling me daddy. It's responded like the perfect trick. I got plenty of bitches in my phone. I don't know who he talking to. I got plenty of bitches all in my motherfucking context calling me daddy. They calling me daddy. Nigga, these bitches call tricks daddy. These bitches call crips and bloods and GDs and BDs with good dicks and nice tongues that they like to have fun with daddy, nigga. How you feel exalted off that? How you feel pimpish or mackish about that? How did you even feel playerish about that? Being called daddy. What the fuck? Sound like the perfect trick. Got plenty of bitches in my phone calling me daddy. Daddy. It's your mark ass on. <laughs> With that bullshit, man. You know? But again, you know, you have to stop giving respectful words, words of praises to hold, no, excuse me, to square prostitutes who have not put in work. Stop respecting square prostitutes like real hoes when they have not put in work. What is her resume? See, you respect Stevie Wonder 
because he has what? A catalog. A lot of people don't like, you know, the situation with R. Kelly and everything, but nobody can deny his what? His work. You might not like, like, man, I I just don't, man, I, I don't I don't fuck with Kanye, man. And well, but you can't deny, you know, his work as a producer. You know, his production. You know, you can't deny, you know, his work. We talking about music. You can't deny his work. A lot of people, a lot of Crips, when you look at Kev Mac, a lot of the older Crips, they be trying to criticize and minimize the legacy sometimes. Some of them be, you know what I mean, uh, you know, hating, you know what I mean, on Tookie. If you look at some of them interviews, you know, some of them be hating, you know what I mean, on, on Big Took. Why? Because he the face, he was the face of Crippin. When you thought of Crippin, you thought of Tookie. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jamel was popular. He was doing his thing. But those from that time, when they keep it real, what they let you know? Man, there was nobody like Big Took. Nobody. You know what I mean? You look at uh, Jackie. You know what I mean? When he uh, did the little interview with the white boy, which was, I wish Jackie would have done that. He should have done that with Kev Mack. Man, that's what we need. We need an interview with uh, Jackie, with Kev Mack. But when he spoke on that, notice that he was like, there'd be nobody like a big took. We'll never have that again. You know? Why? But why is he looked upon like that? Why is he respected like that? Why is he idolized like that? Because he put in work. They're trying to minimize his work by saying, but look at my work. Look at my look at my work and look. But you know, you wasn't the face of Crippin. Tookie was. You know what I mean? It was the work that he put in. You know, you know, you got to put in work to have a body like that. You don't just get up and be like, man, I want to be built like Big Took. It don't go like that. You have to put in work. To be walking around with 19-inch arms and you ain't never been to prison? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to put in work, man. It's work that come with that. You know? Many individuals just want the fame you know, they just want the popularity, the clout, you know, of putting in that work. But they don't want to put in the actual work. Just like you got a lot of guys, they just want to live off the earnings of prostitution. They just want the clout that comes with pimping. But they, in reality, they really don't want to do no pimping. They scream and pimp this, pimp that, and pimping this and pimping that. But in all reality, they just want the currency and the popularity that comes with that. But they really don't want a pimp, though. Because when you a pimp, it takes patience to do that. Yeah, your P got to stand, your P got to have some patience with it. You know, you might be presiding over a woman and her comprehension, she not comprehending the game that's coming out your mouth right now. So guess what? You know what I mean? Your money going to be the best definition of slow with that hoe right now. And your P got to stand for patience in that situation. She ain't, she ain't picking up. She ain't comprehending, you know what I mean, immediately. And so you're going to have to find the correct teaching methods for her to understand your game so she can produce off your game, you know what I mean, the way that you want to. And that's going to have to require some patience. That's not going to be an overnight situation. You, what am I saying? You got to put in the work. Why do you got guys that mostly want a broad that come from another, somebody else? They want a broad that come from, you know, this P or that P or that P or that P. Like when we had them conversations, which one would you rather have? You know what I mean? A turnout? Or would you rather have somebody that's seasoned, she's a veteran, she been with this P, that P, that P. A lot of them say, man, give me that broad this season. Give me that broad that's been in the game for woo, 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 woo. Why? Because they don't want to put in the work. Any man that don't want a broad that's custom made and tailor made according to his pimping, he's telling you that I don't want a pimp. Give me that bitch that so Pope the Prince had for 10 years. Give me that bitch that Divine had for 10 years. Give me that bitch that King Difference had for five years. 
give me that bitch that Lil Juan had for them many years because I'm trying to live off of their game. See, by them giving the bitch the game, by them pipping on the bitch all of them years, I can just reap off the benefits of the teachings, you know what I mean, of another man. Rather than me sitting over there putting in the time and the effort, you know what I mean, to build this bitch up, I could just stand by the garbage can waiting on the steak to come. Some of you, and, and you will learn about whether a nigga really this pimping or not, especially when he tell you he been in this game 10 years or more, 20 years or more, and he tell you that he never turned out a woman to the game. That speaks volumes you know, about his so-called pimping. You have individuals that's been in the lifestyle and they were straight up telling, no, I ain't never turned out, you know, that just wasn't my thing. He tell, it wasn't my thing or I never had the patience to do it. What he's saying is I never put in work. See, because when you're turning on a woman, when you're turning out a woman to the game, it takes work to do that. When you're talking to a college-educated, beautiful woman, it takes work to turn on and turn out that woman to the game. She's not going to comply to everything that you're saying and conveying within the conversation. She's going to have a reply that might disagree with some things that you're saying, and you're going to have to intellectually go there and come with the irrefutable truth to win this debate. Everything with this woman might be a boxing match verbally when y'all first start talking. Anything you say, she's challenging it. Why this? How this happened? Why that happened? And a lot of you run away from college-educated women. Many of you run away from two-parent home women. You run away from strong church background type of women. You run away from women, you know what I mean, that had a lot of counselors and you know, a lot of great influences, you know, within her chat. You feel intimidated. And I'm not just talking to people in my lifestyle. I'm just talking to a lot of you guys really in general. Like if a woman got too much going on for herself, if it's too much education, you know what I mean? If she got a, a career, if she got too much going on, a lot of you know, wouldn't even waste time initiating the conversation because you see the bitch in another galaxy that you don't feel like you're able to get up to. You don't feel like you're able to reach. You know what I mean? I've, oh my God, I just, so many people are passing through my mind right now. Lazy. These guys were lazy. I used to say this to Clyde when we was cool. I was like, the reason why you keep having the regular ghetto fired, you know, uh, Bambisha, Rakisha, Clymidia Jenkins ass bitches is because you never take out the time, Clyde, to read. Can I just speak some real shit for a minute? There's nothing wrong with Clyde's mind. When Clyde would take out the time to actually apply himself, you know, it'd take a little while, but eventually he will get it. But because he's lazy minded, like most niggas, instead of taking the time to improve himself mentally, you know, and to basically educate himself so he can represent his so-called game, you know, better verbally, he just rather, uh, uh, rather settle down for the Compton swap meet bitch. He would just rather have the bitch that's, uh, you know, I mean, talk, on God in heaven, on God in heaven. You know what I mean? On the dead homies. He's, he's going after that bitch. But when you take him to Old Town Scottsdale and you put him in an environment where there's beautiful black women or mostly beautiful white women who have careers and, you know, speak proper English, you know, he doesn't know what to do. He's intimidated. Just using him for an example because these things are accurate of what I'm saying. I've seen so many profess pimping, but when they came around individuals that they thought that were smarter than them, more intelligent than them, 
the, the campaign wasn't there. The confidence wasn't there. And I'm telling you the reason why it wasn't there, because you had individuals who were lazy that never worked on their pimping. They never exercised their pimping. What am I saying? They never put in the work. If you know that you're ignorant in a certain area, you know in this capacity that you're coming up short, what do you need to do? You need to improve that. You need to improve that and say, you know what? My conversation is not the best. My personality is not the best. I don't, I need to work on, you know, getting some magnetism about myself. You know, when I speak, I stutter a lot. I say, um, you know, I stutter a lot. I noticed that even when Flacco was speaking to, uh, uh, what's the boy name? Uh, Satan the Sinner. When he was speaking to Satan the Sinner, it was so many, you know what I mean, stutter. It's just so much stuttering going on. He has the same cadence as DJ Academics. I'm like, boy, this is DJ Academics Jr. He wasn't able to speak fluently. Everything was... Do me a favor. Give my likes to a thousand. Everybody click on the like button. Let's make them likes touch a thousand. Everybody hit the thumbs up button. But... You know, um, if you know that in an area that you're falling short in, where everything is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so when I can't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what this game, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Girl, if you want to be with me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, I see you in the DM, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Do you hear me? You heard me? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Girl, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? You know, like, goddamn. You have to, right. Oh, don't get me started on my people. I'll be all day talking about the city of Chicago. On four and them, 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 on four and them. Got up in this morning, four and them. Got in the evening, four and them. Go to bed at night, four and them. I get up every day, four and them. On four and them, on four and them, on four and them, on four and them. Every day is four and them. Every day is four and them, on four and them, on four. Everything is four and them. <laughs> I wish they would learn how to read. I wish motherfuckers would actually take out the time and say, you know what? I'm tired of saying on four and them every two seconds. I know my mama on four and them. Know my daddy on four and them. 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 Shout out to my grandma on four and them. That's my daddy on four and them. Got me some Harold's chicken on four and them. Killed them niggas on four and them. Disrespect the ops on four and them. Pulled up to the block on four and them. 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 Everything is on four and them. My people do not know how to talk. This new generation that's coming from the location of Chicago where everything is on four and them, I can't stand that shit. See, this is the Chirac generation. I'm from the Chi-Town. <laughs> Chi-Town and Chirac motherfuckers is different. On four and them, on four and them. Brother got killed on four and them. Cousin got killed on four and them. But, uh, they're going to thoughts on four and them. We fucking them thoughts on four and them. Killing these niggas on four and them. Doing these things on four and them. On four and them, on four and them. And on, uh, I'll be on the low end on four and them. West side at night at four and them. On four and them, on four and them. Everything is on four and them. I'm tired of it. Learn how to talk without saying on four and them. I'm sick of four and them. I'm sick of, uh, I'm, and that's how you know I'm getting old. That's one of the first signs of getting old when everything just irritates you. But it's just best to be quiet because you don't want everybody to know you're getting old. But everything vexes your spirit. Everything just vexes your spirit. You know what I mean? Just like this new shit that all the young people are doing. Everybody, do, okay, and let the record reflect. Let the record reflect. Let the record reflect. Let the record reflect. 
Let the record reflect. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at y'all. Y'all going to be at work. I'm at job on 4 and them. Going to work on 4 and them. Get up in the morning on 4 and them. My boss talking crazy on 4 and them. I'll handle that nigga on 4 and them. I'll kill that nigga on 4 and them. Fuck that bitch on 4 and them. She bending over on 4 and them. Fucking all 4 and them at 4 a.m. on 4 and them. Doing my thing on 4 and them. Riding around on 4 and them. Got my hair done on 4 and them. Fucking these hoes, I'm foreign them. Doing my thing, I'm foreign them. If that nigga get out of place, I'm foreign them. I'ma kill all them, I'm foreign them. I'm with the shit, I'm foreign them. <laughs> Everything is on foreign them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, you know, don't get A, don't get fired. And don't, don't, seeing I was singing that song you were singing in the video and I got fired on my job. P, I need a cash app. Listen, it's December. It's too many birthdays. It's holidays that I don't even celebrate the people asking for money. Do not lose your job. I cannot cash app you this month. I, get, I done already lost. <coughs> we ain't even in the middle of this month. And I done already gave too many racks out already. We ain't even in the middle and I done already sat up there and gave out more money than some of these niggas are sitting over there bragging about already. You know what I mean? I, man, listen, I can't stand the month of December. I can keep it real with you. Seeing money don't be looking right, you know, uh, it be slow. It be average. Only time, I, only time I ever had something special happen around this time was out here. That was like my best. My, that was my best winter when that bitch started sit, sitting over there hitting for watches. You know what I mean? Hitting for, I'd even showed you the first yacht master, you know what I mean? That, but let me be quiet. You know what I mean? That, uh, a, a gift that, you know, a person gave me, <laughs> you know? But yeah, let me leave that alone. Yacht master, oh my God. That sounds like the time when I lost my watch. Let me be quiet. But anyway... Let me wrap this up because there's so many things I want to say. But like I said, I'm not going to try to squeeze everything in. Uh, I already knew that I wasn't going to be able to convey everything uh, that was on my mind pertaining to this topic within this one message. And listen, let me let me show you guys this. Like I said, I don't ask you for no money. Uh, I just ask that you make sure that you hit the like button. Because by you doing that, you're getting the notifications out there. By you doing that, I get all the recommendations that I need for my views to be right. I don't want my views to be like the same, the center, you know what I mean, the rest of it. I don't want my views to be like that. You know, we got to keep our views pimpish around here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have a, a hundred and uh, some thousand, you know, sub channel. And when I go live, even with celebrities' names, you know what I mean, it's only 300 people in there watching. I was so offended when motherfuckers sit up there and say they didn't want to give me no clout. And here I am. I've been teaching, you know what I mean, for damn near three hours with the letter P in the motherfucking title with no thumbnail, no celebrity name in. But I can sit up there and have, matter of fact, last week I had over 1,300 motherfuckers in there watching for three hours with just the letter P with no thumbnail, no celebrity name or nothing. Just come in with the letter P and that's just it. Man, come on. And then you had the nerve to say, you know what I mean, that you didn't want to give me no clout. Boy, who you fooling? Who you fooling? But anyway, that's another subject. Yeah, just the letter P, man. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, I can just put the letter P in the title, man. You know what I mean? A thousand people. My people going to show up because they know how I bring it. I don't, I don't need no pretty thumbnails and all that type of shit. I mean, I'm going to do it, you know what I mean, because it's going to be some squares you know what I mean? They need to see certain shit, you know what I mean, to attract them squares. But I already got my audience, man. Yeah, like I said, I could just put the letter P there, man, and my people going to show up. They going to show up and show out. We going to fellowship like family do. See, that's the difference between being an overnight sensation and going viral and getting a whole bunch of subs versus somebody that's been kicking game and ministering game, you know what I mean, for years and has a... Uh, audience, they actually have, you know, a group of people, 
that fuck with them and they've been fucking with them for years. It's a major difference. It's different. You know what I mean? It, it, it hit different, man. But shout out to them little dudes. They be acting like they big dudes. But anyway, listen, do me a favor. Everybody uh, hit that thumbs up button and let's touch a thousand likes. But let me also say this before I got so many talking points, man, I didn't even, uh, you know what I mean, get to. But I just say this, outside versus the internet, you get to see individuals who might have came to the blade in a lift. They might have came in an Uber. They might have came in a taxi. And for you to see the advancements on the pavement, seeing what's the advancements on the pavement, if you know that that man came to the blade in a taxi, if you know that that hoe or them hoes jumped out of a taxi or Uber or a Lyft, you know what I'm saying, with that man, and then you seen them bitches or that bitch stay in pocket the whole time with Benzes and Jags and BMWs and Porsches and shit, was driving down the street and pimp spitting their best game out the window, try to have that bitch or have them bitches. And them bitches spoke in the vernacular of silence. You know what I mean? They completely stayed in pocket. You know what I mean? The whole day to make sure this man's trap was right. And now you're seeing them bitches that look average, might have looked a little dusty. But now you're seeing them all Louis up. Now you're seeing them all with their hair done and nails done and feet done and smelling all heavenly, you know what I mean, happy, on one accord. You've seen the advancements on the pavement. You've seen where that man came from. And to see him jump out of a lift one day and to now seeing him push up in that Maybach Benz, you know, it hit different. Then somebody that's just talking about the game three, four, five hours, you know, on P perspective or hollering and screaming, you know what I mean, <laughs> about, you know, whatever, you know, with Lil Durk or whoever on dinosaurs. It hit different. When you actually seen this hoe that, you know, was in one situation, she wasn't happy, she was coming outside miserable, you know, she wasn't having a profitable time when she was out there. But now you see her choose up, you know what I mean, with some pimping. And to see that young woman completely transform, you know what I mean, into a beast. You know, you, you can see that. What am I saying? You can see the manifestation of this man's information, you know what I mean, in this woman's life. What am I saying? You can see the work. She might have came when she first came to him. She was masculine. She was able to listen to a lot of rap music that, you know, she was pretty much allowed to do anything and everything in that last situation. And she was taking on a lot of masculine energy. She was talking like a game banger instead of talking like a hoe. She was conducting herself, you know what I mean, like a man instead of a woman you know what I mean? That is conforming to the game in that last situation. But to actually see this tomboy, you know, female transform into a, a woman that happens to be a beautiful professional hoe. Yeah, yeah. You see in the works. You see her go from masculine to feminine. You seen her go from stuttering to speaking fluently. <clears throat> You've seen her go from sounding ignorant to now sounding intelligent. Or you might have seen her go from 300 pounds to now being 140, to now being 150 or 160. You've seen the weight loss. That man really pimped for real on her. It wasn't just him checking some money. He had her, he was motivating her to go to the gym with him. He made that he made that girl his woman. You know what I'm saying? Because you you know, you might be able to sit up there and charm and disarm a broad out of some money and things like that, but shout out to all the pimps, man, that got discipline about themselves and exemplify discipline to their woman or women. And now you took a woman that was over uh, 300 pounds or 200 pounds, and now you got this woman in shape. 
Now she's feeling herself. She can't stop being in the mirror. Shout out to Sharice. Hey, baby. You know what I mean? She can't stop being in the mirror. Just as fine as she want to be. Just as gorgeous as she want to be. You took somebody that had low self-esteem and now the bitch arrogant. <laughs> you know, she had low self-esteem when you first knocked her. You know, every time she would speak, she would talk with her head down. You know, she had depression all in her expression. Every time you seen her, you know what I mean? Her shoes look like she was in need of a blessing. You know what I mean? But now she is with this new situation and you know what I mean? Now she walks with a certain pride. She walks with her head to the sky. You know, the guy that she's with now, the pimp that she's with now, you know what I mean? He gives her compliments, you know, verbally, but I'm just going to take it there too. They're like, ooh, that sounds nasty. Yeah, but he just don't be saying that she look good. But when they alone and when the time is right, he be physically showing her that her motherfucking ass look good. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't put no clothes on. Cook my food just like that. Butt ass naked. <laughs> you know, I'm speaking from experience now. You know what I mean? She, she was ashamed of her body now. You know? But now, you know, by you sitting over there uh, saying that she look good, and now you done physically shown her that she look good, when you tell that woman she look fine and shit, she can feel that shit now. Yeah, some experiences that it came with that now. Yeah, you ain't, you know, because a lot of y'all be telling you, oh, you look good, you look pretty, you look gorgeous, you look like you're going to get, the bitch like, he just saying that to get me outside. He just saying that to, you know, motivate me, you know what I mean, to get outside to bring him back some money. But see, when you physically putting in that work, you know what I'm saying? Come on now, Bobby Womack said a woman got to have it. When you taking out time to really sit up there and create a residence in the mind of this woman, putting in that work, yeah, you know what I mean? Now, you know what I mean? You'll see a difference. Now she go to the blade with joy. She go to the blade, you know what I mean, happy. You know, that last situation, she might have been with somebody. He wasn't liking her like that. But now she with somebody, you know what I mean, that's feeling her, that really likes her, that respects her, that got love for her. Man, it hit different. That money going to be different. Like, damn, man, when she was a what's her name, man, all that bitch was making was three to four hundred dollars, man. Now she done chose up, you know what I mean, with him, man, that bitch getting fifteens and twenty twos and seventeens. And, yeah, she checking it like the house on fire now. Why? That bitch skipping the work. <laughs> you know what am I saying he been putting in that work that's what's been happening you know he's been putting in that work that's what happened he not just telling her you know what I mean you look good but he's been putting in that work with her yeah that's why she went from you know what I mean speaking with her head down and you know, sounding like she got low self-esteem all the time and all of that shit. Now when you see her, you know what I mean? She be popping her shit. You know, she pop her shit now. You know, she's sedity now. She's arrogant now. She feel fly now. Yeah, that's because of the man she with. She a reflection of the man that she with. That's why. In other words, he been putting in that work. It take work to do that. That's pimping. When you take a woman who was that big and now she in shape, that's pimping. When you take a woman who was ignorant and now she's knowledgeable, you know, that's pimping. When you take a woman, you know what I mean, that uh, might have been sleeping at the couch of her mama's house, she ain't never, you know what I mean, had no type of um, place of her own or, or anything. And now, you know what I mean, for you to take her, you know what I mean, from that situation to now, you know, she owns her own house. She owns her own car, you know, so when her family, you know, why you in this or why you do this, you know, it's a little different, man, you know what I mean, when she owns a house, when she owns that foreign car, not just having it on IG and posting it with a cool little caption, but it hits different, you know, when the work has been put in. 
Like, you know, I don't like her being in the lifestyle, but I can't really say, you know, she, she, she doing her thing. They have to respect work. Work is always going to trump word. He's going to have a good catch in, but if he's not putting in work, he's not going to have a good keep in. It take work. What am I saying? It take pimping to maintain. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It might have took you being handsome or personality or mouthpiece or your nice situation that appears to be good on the outside looking in to obtain, but it's going to take some pimping. It's going to take some work to maintain. You being handsome or the bitch might think that you fine or sexy, you know what I mean? That within itself, you know what I mean, can get you to obtain a woman. What am I saying? You can knock her. But in order to maintain her, though, in order to maintain that woman, you know what I mean, in your school of game, you're going to have to put in some work. What am I saying? You're going to have to pimp. You know, again, we have many individuals, man, they're knowledgeable about the game. They can tell you so much about the game from ancient times to recent times. I mean, they, man, they got some cold game. But guess what? You know what I mean? They're not prospering in the game. Why? Because they don't apply themselves. Certain individuals are not campaigning. Some individuals is campaigning in the wrong area. And then we got some individuals, they campaigning at the wrong people. They Joe Montana when it comes to throwing the ball, but he ain't throwing the ball to no Jerry Rice, though. He just throwing it just to be throwing it. We have individuals like that. Imagine having the greatest arm in the NFL. You're the greatest quarterback in the NFL, but you don't have the, the coldest wide receiver to, to pass to. You're just passing it to just anybody and everybody. That's just how it is with this game. Some of y'all are not looking for a Randy Moss. You're not looking for a Michael Irvin. You're not looking for a Jerry Rice. You know what I mean? You, you just passing it to just any Tom, Dick, motherfucking Harry type of bitch. You give your game to anybody. You will talk your shit to just anybody and everybody. That ain't how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. And that's why you keep getting the same results because you keep talking to, you know, them little goofies and shit. It's, it's certain bitches I want to say their name, but I ain't going to give them no fame. But you know some of the motherfuckers that I be talking about, that I be indirectly but directly talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Bitches that be sitting over there saying who is and who ain't pimping. But what about who is and who ain't hoeing? <laughs> You know, when, when we going to have that discussion? You know what I mean? Who is and who ain't hoeing? You know, you, you get on here talking about who pimping and who ain't pimping every day, but what about who ain't hoeing? Because if you've been in this game more than five years, and then most of them years that you've been in the game, you've been calling yourself renegading, and you've been paying yourself, and you ain't paid yourself well enough to get out of a hotel room, Damn, bitches, you selling your pussy for free? You paying yourself, right? You don't got no pimp to pay. Then my question is, if you don't have a pimp to pay and the pimp is not presiding over you paying yourself, damn, what happened? Why you don't have nothing to show for your so-called horn? And we know plenty of bitches like that. Pretty, gorgeous, all that type of shit. Ain't got nothing going on. Ain't got nothing going on. You know what I mean? Nothing going on. Hold on, let me get my Hassan Campbell on. Man, they playing with the numbers. Man, that's the feds. Man, they playing, they playing with the numbers. They playing with my numbers. We just was at a thousand and something, man. And they playing with the numbers, man. The feds don't want me to teach this game. The government coming against the, my pimping, man. You know what I mean? They playing with my numbers. You know what I mean? They end up going back sometime. YouTube be having malfunctions and shit. But yeah, let me do that right quick. Let me make myself more important than what it is. You know what I mean? They don't want me to teach this game. The government. It's the government. <laughs> oh, shit. But listen, I'm going to say one more thing. 
and then I'm going to sit up there and wrap it up because I ain't going to squeeze everything. It's so much pertaining to this topic, man. It really is. Like, this is one of them topics that I could have spoke, you know what I mean, for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours and hours. But listen, you know, when you're really serious about this lifestyle, you're going to put in work. You're going to put in work. Don't You can't get into no conversations with no pimps. And we chop and game. And when it come time to, okay, what do you got to show for in the game? And of course, when that question is asked, many people start thinking money. Many people start thinking about materialistic. But let me put that to the side for a minute. Do you have the respect of those women that you pimped on? Can do ex hoes call you? Do hoes that you presided over in this game, do they still call you? Do they still show you respect? See, that's when you know you really that dude. When a bitch fucking with somebody and she get out of pocket just to sit up there and send you something for your birthday or, you know what I mean, she just send you something just because she just checked this or did this off of this game that you taught her some years ago and she's still reaping the benefits of it. That's a hoe that really respect the game. I just wanted to, I just, I had to, I had to send you that cash app. I had to, I had to sit up there and zail you. I had to sit up there and take your account number to the bank and, and send you that. Because that game that you taught me, when you taught me this, when you taught me that, yeah, I'm still reaping off that today. I'm still breaking tricks. I'm still seducing and reducing motherfuckers for everything that they got for that game that you gave me, you know what I mean, this and that and then. You know, it's that, like k Red said, it's the respect. Do you have respect in this game? I ain't talking about your little pimp friend and your buddies. Do you have respect from any of those women that you pimped on? That speaks volumes to me. I was so impressed with Gorgeous Dre. The fact that the women... Some of, some of the women that he presided over in the game, if you ever been blessed enough to hear him converse or be around him while he's speaking to former students of his game when he was active, you know what I mean? And the respect, the level of respect, the level of honor that they have for him still to this day speaks volumes about the type of man and the representative of the game that he is. Now, I'm not going to speak on this other person, but this other individual that's supposed to be legendary representation of the game, he made all type of justifiable excuses as to why none of his hoes from the time of his heyday call or, you know, can vouch or, you know, want to speak, you know, about how good that he pimped. He said he pimped so cold and he was mashing so much and, you know what I mean? That they don't, you know, they don't have no feelings for him no more. They don't want to, you know what I mean? And that's a bunch of bullshit. That sounds good to a square. But to a motherfucker that know this game, most of you can't get no confirmation from any female representation of the game that you presided over because you didn't do no pimping. What am I saying? You didn't do no works. You sold some dreams, but you didn't put in the work to fulfill the dreams that you sold to that hoe. And you got a bunch of bitter women. You wanted, by you not putting in the work, by a lot of you not putting in work, what am I saying? By a lot of you not doing no pimping, we have a population of women who are bitter and not better. They bitter with the game. They not better off of the game. You know what I mean? They angry. You know, they not pretty anymore. They don't have their youthful appearance anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that joy, you know, of the hoeing no more. They be encouraging young uh, hoes in the game to hurry up and get in and get out. They be saying shit like, you know, if I could go back, you know what I mean? I would have kept some of the money for myself. I was so stupid, you know, giving that man all my money. I should have sat up there and kept a percentage or I should have kept. That's a bitch that's bitter. That's a bitch that did not receive the fulfillment of the dream that she was sold. 
And on the other side, because we got to still hold that bitch accountable, tell somebody and say, hold that bitch accountable. Yeah, we, we be holding these bitches accountable over here. We don't just tell one side. But on another side, you know what I mean? The bitch seen that the nigga was a liar and kept paying the liar. Some of these bitches can see that they're in a circus and see that the motherfucker a clown, but the bitch still sit there for the goddamn show and then still want to cry after the damn show is over. Like, oh my God, I gave all my years to this clown. I gave all my years to the circus. Bitch, you knew you was at a circus. And you stayed there for the show. You even performed sometimes in the circus with the clown. Shut your dumb ass up. Bitch, I don't feel sorry for you. It don't take five years to find out that a motherfucker a clown. It don't take 10 years to find out that a motherfucker a clown. Bitch, you been knowing that he was a clown. You enabled his clown behavior. You went harder so he can be a more of a clown. He wouldn't have never even been the clown that he was if you didn't enable the shit. Bitch, you an enabler of clownery, of foolery, of fakery. Always flip both sides. Don't ever just cut the nigga. Sit up there and take that sword and cut that bitch too. Hold that bitch accountable. For you future teachers and preachers and, and ministers, you understand me, of the truth and of this game. You know what I mean? Stop sitting over there just cutting these niggas, cutting these men and shit like that. Hey, man, take that sword of truth and cut that bitch too. Hold that bitch accountable. Everybody get cut. Everybody get rebuked. Everybody get reproved. But just like, you know, you got to bring that Band-Aid. <laughs> That's the only thing that them niggas don't do. They don't bring the Band-Aid. But, you know, as of right now, I'm going to say to you this day, if you have not been putting in work, if you know that you've been professing this, but you really have not been possessing what you've been professing, you know what I mean, to have, or, you know, you haven't been putting in that work, what am I saying? You haven't been pimping. You know you haven't been doing no hoeing. Then some of you used to do some pimping. Some of you used to do some hoeing. But you ain't done it in years. This is the time right now for you to be real with yourself. This is the time for you to stop lying to yourself. Life is too short to lie to yourself. Life is too short to exist in a lie. You can't live in it, but you can exist in it. Life is too short to exist in a lie. You can come to the truth of this game today. You don't have to continue in that foolishness anymore. You can say within yourself, you know, I've wasted time. I've been arguing with bitches. I've been on the phone talking to bitches two and three hours. that ain't even thinking about giving me a dime. I've been staying with my pimp partner. My pimp partner been taking care of me. I can't eat unless my pee partner, you know, is hungry. I got to wait on another man to go here and do that in order for me to have this and that. You know, and this has been going on for months, some a year, some years. I'm tired of that. This is not manly. It's not pimpish. I'm getting out of this situation. I'm getting ready to pimp up. I'm getting ready to receive this game. But not only receive this game, but I'm going to do something that most motherfuckers that talk a good game don't do. I'm going to put in that work. Because I realize that game without works don't work. Game without works is dead. So I need to stop with the bullshitting. I need to stop writing two and three scrolls, paragraphs on Facebook, crying, talking about old times and what the game used to be when the game can still be beautiful right now if i stop bitching on facebook if i stop bitching on instagram time for me to stop answering the phone for bitches that ain't got comfortable talking to me without paying me i've been holding some dollars too long and then for me to sit up there and talk to a bitch laughing kiki and ha ha Bitch telling you, telling you that you sexy, telling you that you handsome, telling you that you smart. But the bitch ain't never asked you for your account number. Bitch ain't never asked you for your cash app. Bitch don't like you like that, man. Bitch been talking to you multiple times, all them goddamn hours, and the bitch never had no money on her mind. 
That bitch is playing with you. You can die today. You'd just be another nigga that she played with. You'd just be another nigga that she talked to that had no intentions to pay. You can die right now. You would die another dumbass nigga that wasted time talking to a dumbass bitch that wasn't thinking about paying you. Or you can sit up there and take this game today and you can stop being a stupid ass nigga. You can stop talking to a stupid ass bitch that don't have no intentions of paying you. You can apply this game today and say, you know what? It's time for me to be serious about this game. Every bum ass bitch Every bitch that don't respect me, because see, if, if the bitch respected you, she would have showed you some respect. Has she showed you some respect? Pete, what you mean show me some respect? Has she hit your hand? All right, then she don't respect you. Any hoe that really know the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing, and she feel comfortable calling you every day or every other day, and y'all gossiping, or maybe you're not gossiping, Y'all talking about things, you know, laughing and some things y'all be talking about. You feel like this is an intelligent conversation. But how many so-called intelligent conversations you going to have with this bitch without getting the accumulations out this bitch? That don't sound too intelligent to me, man. You know? So, yeah, this is a check-in, man. Some of you are gamed up in the things that I'm saying. This is not a revelation. This is to put you in remembrance of this game that you didn't backslid from. You didn't subsided from this game. You didn't became too Mr. Nice Guy. Then some of you talking to bitches, man, that's so beneath you. Do you remember the pimp that you was? Do you remember the fly motherfucker that you used to be? Do you remember the hoes that you didn't pimped on? The high caliber motherfuckers that you didn't have, the money that you didn't check in this game, the good times that you didn't have in this shit. And you sitting over there allowing this bum to sit up there and act like she got options of whether or not she want to choose you or not. Motherfucker, you done forgot who you was. You done forgot who the fuck you was, man. Bitch disrespected you talking about some I think about it. She ain't got to think about it. You didn't thought about it for it. Click. Anytime a bitch sit up there, you understand me talking about I'm thinking about it or I got options and all of that goofy shit. Man, I'm here to tell you, man. I can tell you from experience on both sides. Saying what you mean, both sides. Hey, man, uh, everybody done played the fool. You know what I mean? I'm not just speaking to you. I'm speaking from past tense. I done talked to some bitches that I done talked to way too long. And the spirit of Pippin Ben sit up there and say, hey, man, uh, <laughs> how long you going to keep talking to her? What you about to chip? What you about to do some chipping? You about to fuck her? Like, what you, what's up? Because the temperature ain't on pimping and hoeing. Y'all been talking for a minute. If that bitch was really sincere about your goddamn pimping, she would have reached you by now. All this laughing and playing and shit. I know she pretty. She your type and all of that shit. But right now, you see, you talking to her because your dick on hard. You must want to fuck this bitch. Because you definitely don't want to do no pimping. Because if you want to do some pimping, you will sit up there and answer the phone for that little Brady Bunch bitch that you met. You know what I mean? At Sam's Club or Walmart or at the cleaners or you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that little bra that keep pressing you, that keep texting you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet little Sarah. Yeah, with the little titties. You know what I mean? To keep texting you, to keep calling you, but you keep putting her on hold, or you ain't really giving her too much attention because you chasing this big old booty, thick ass bitch that ain't about shit. Yeah, you see, you chasing what your dick want, but you ain't chasing what the pimping want. You ain't chasing what the game want. Get your mind right. Come on, man. I done been there before. I done been there before. You know what I mean? I done been there before. I'm not telling you something, you know, from just other observation from others. No, seeing them been in that. I done talked to certain people in the game like, come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. If she really wanted to choose you, she would have let you know by now. You just, you, you talking to this bitch because you like her. You want to fuck her. Yeah, you attracted to this bitch. You like her personality. You like the way she look. That's the man in you. You, you know, and that ain't, that, ain't, that ain't to disrespect you. You know what I mean? We still got dicks between our legs, man. It get like that, especially, let me put that in there, especially 
when you haven't talked to an intelligent woman in a minute. That's how they get you. If you've been coming across a bunch of a bunch of females that you really don't like like that, and that's the problem. A lot of you niggas is applying pressure and you're trying to have females that you don't even like. You don't even like her. It's not going to work. You don't even like the bitch. It's a waste of time. She has a tattoo in the middle of her chest and she throws up gang signs and pictures and videos. Bro, it's not, <laughs> it's not going to work. That's not your type. It might, it might be for him. It might be for the half-baked pimp. You know, what's the half-baked pimp? You know, he cooked on both sides. He, he game-banging on one side. He pimping on the... He, that's for him. That's not for you, Pete. Come on. Man, P, but I looked in her story. She was counting a few racks. Hey, man, she can have them racks. You know what I mean? Just because the devil then created a motherfucking account on Instagram and the devil counting racks in the story, you going to campaign at the devil too? Man, fuck that. That bitch can have them little funky-ass racks. I'm letting you know that it ain't going to work. You'll be sitting over there a month from now or some weeks later like, God damn, man, I should let that bitch keep this money, man. What situation have I got myself in? I'm depressed every day, I'm mad, I'm tired, and I just woke up. I just had hours, eight, nine hours of sleep. Wake up still tired. That's because that demonic spirit that that bitch got around you, man. You're eating depression, you're around depression. She coming in with a trap that, that, that ain't a trap. It's a trap of depression. <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, that's how they get you. You know, some of you guys like to have you know, some conversations that's not about the lifestyle all the time. You like to talk about music or, or art or, you know, you might want to talk about business and things like that. You know, things that conversations that you might have had prior to you getting into the lifestyle and you might meet a woman in the game or might meet a square that you endeavoring to uh, turn out, you know, at first. And, you know, you come to find out when y'all talking to each other, you know, y'all have a lot of you know, common ground. Y'all got a lot of similarities. Y'all got some compatibility. So you're compelled to keep talking to her. And now you, you like talking to her. You genuinely like her. You know what I mean? She likes you. But this the problem is she ain't thinking about no pimping and hoeing. This is a waste of time. This is a waste of time. And you already know not to go physically around the bitch because, you know, you know, you, you know you. You know you. <laughs> oh man, I'm just gonna meet her, man, and go chill a little bit. You know what I mean? We just gonna chill and just share a few laughs and all of that. Or maybe this might be the way the game lead me. Maybe I might have to chip it before I pimp it. No, 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 no. Most likely it's just gonna be some chipping and it ain't gonna be equal no pimping. Leave it alone, let it go. You know what I mean? Seeing, but I ain't had none in a while, man. And, oh, man, I feel you. You know, but we just talking as men. You know what I mean? It be like that sometimes. Might be talking to a fine-ass square. She talking that shit. You know, especially if you've been working out, you've been drinking that water, eating that fruit like you're supposed to. You know what I mean? Dick still sitting over there getting harder. You know what I mean? Than a motherfucker's life. You know what I mean? On the west side of the shack. You know what I mean? Talking to this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she's sounding good, especially if she all in her story. Uh, she's sending you pictures and videos, naked pictures and all of that. You ain't even asked for the pit naked pictures. She just sent naked pictures and naked videos of pussy and booty and titties and shit. You know? You better rebuke that bitch or you better stop <laughs> You know? Or, or do my line. You know, how many of y'all done met a fine-ass bitch at a club or you met her at uh, whatever, right? You met her at the store or what have you. Or maybe you might have chopped it up on IG. I don't know. And as soon as y'all exchange, you know, info or had a cool conversation, she didn't start sending pictures and videos naked as a motherfucker. You know, seeing what do I do? That happens to me. You know what I do? Seeing what you do, what you say? Nothing. <laughs> Like, if it's a hoe or a stripper or something, I instantly check that shit. Like, hey, what is this? You know what I mean? You know, just to keep that temperature on. Hey, baby, I'm not no trick. Don't be sending that shit to me. Oh, I'm sorry, saying I didn't. Yeah. 
Now, if it's a beautiful square that don't know no better, she just attracted to you. When she send that shit, you just make her feel goofy because the bitch just sent all of that shit be like, and you just, and she try to uh, get on a, uh, a sexual conversation, do the Barry Sanders on that bitch, Juker. <laughs> you know what I mean? She try to indulge in a sexual conversation about how she, you know what I mean? Like, oh, how you do this? Or how you do, uh-uh, Barry Sanders, that bitch. Deion Sanders, the hoe. You know what I mean? Juker. What do you mean by that, sin? Switch the whole conversation. She trying to have a conversation about fornication. You know what I mean? Barry Sanders, the hoe. Dion, the hoe. You know what I mean? Juke the bitch, man. You know? She all wet and bothered and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. She ain't thinking about no pimper. Moving on. <laughs> Come on. But like I said, we men. It happens. I know in this game, everybody act like they perfect. Everybody P at stand for perfect, but... I done told you in past times. That's why I don't like meeting squares. I'm just letting it be known. I don't like meetings. It's certain bitches that I done, uh, uh, came in contact with on social media. Man, I don't want to be with them alone. I don't want to be. You know why? Because I know me. I don't even. Man, listen, I don't. As the scripture says, make no provisions for the flesh. I don't even make no provisions to do no chipping. I don't even make provisions to fall. Some of you niggas make provisions. You already know that you ain't had. Listen, if you know that you've been going through punks, P, what, what you mean? If you ain't had no hole to stand up to your pimping in a while and you've been having a bunch of fly-by-nights, you ain't had no pussy in months, the last thing you need to be around is a square that you're attracted to. Last person you need to be around is a square that's attracted to you, you attracted to her, and y'all alone, and you know she ain't thinking about no pimping. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Especially late night. I can hear my mama. You know what I mean? Boy, ain't nothing uh, open uh, at this time of night but some legs. Like, uh-uh. No. Then, you know what I mean? Uh, like, 1P, not going to speak his name, but 1P got involved with this square they, you know, was feeling each other and everything. He ended up getting that bitch pregnant. And once you get a square pregnant in this game, she never paid you, never had no intentions of paying you. And once these hoes found out about it, that is a mother, it can't erase that stain off your name. Now all the hoes going to be, oh, girl, uh, what's in the, oh, yeah, you ain't even got to have no money to pay him. Girl, he got babies by squares and some more shit. Yeah, he don't have no discipline about himself. While you sitting over there catching dates and putting your life in danger, he going to be sitting over there tasting squares and fucking on squares and getting squares pregnant and shit. Bitches that ain't even thinking about paying them. That, you do not want that jacket. You don't want that on your name. So again, make no provisions for the flesh. You know what I mean? When she, oh, I'm in town. You know what I mean? I just, and you know her big booty ass talking about some she in town. Bitch, I knew that your big booty ass was in town before you told me. Your ass had made an announcement and told me that you was in town before you told me. Big booty motherfucker. But no, a motherfucker that really is endeavoring to put in work and showing the game like, listen, game, I really want a hoe. A man that really want to hoe for real, that really want to do some pimping, he's not going to be in these type of situations. Every now and then he might fall. You know, what do you mean fall, P? Every now and then he might entertain, you know, different conversations and shit. But a man that's really serious about doing some pimping, he's not, especially if he's holeless and doleless temporarily, he's not even going to put himself in a circumstance to have that type of jacket. No, you know, and again, man, here I am. Uh, we barking on them three hours. Lord Jesus, I knew I wasn't going to get everything out, uh, but I don't know who I was speaking to with that. But man, put put in the work, fam. You know, who you campaigning at? Who you been talking to? How long you been talking to? Them? It's just things to think about. Why you don't have a hoe or why you only got one hoe. Oh, that's a whole nother Lord. Why you been having one hoe since, you understand me, the Methuselah? 
Job is the oldest book in the Bible, and you've been having that one hoe for the longest before the book of Job was recorded. Why you can't have another hoe? Why you ain't knocked another hoe? Why you don't have hoes? Why you only got this one hoe situation? Did your boo, did your wife, did your boobada, did your baby boo, did she say that you can't have another bitch? Did she say you can't have another hoe? Some of you niggas is in pussy captivity. You in, you in dick bondage where you can't sit up there and have sex with another hoe. If you have sex with another hoe, you know this bitch going to sit up there and create World War IV. She going to throw a whole nother war if she find out about you sitting over there fucking on another bitch. She talking all this hoe shit on the internet. You talking all that pimp shit on the internet. But if you decided to have sex with another hoe, Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, nigga. The war that you getting ready to have. You know, and you got to ask yourself, am I really a pimp? Am I really doing some pimping? And if you just keep it real with yourself, the answer is no. You've had plenty of opportunities to be deep, but you can't be deep. Why? Because you ain't pimping. Pimping is when you got control. That means that your opinion got dominion over this woman or this group of women. You could do what you want to do, how you want to do, when you want to do it. And if you can't do that, then don't, don't, don't put the label of pimping on it because that's not what it is. Some of you know you can't have more than one hoe. You know that bitch just be saying that goofy shit like, yeah, I'm looking for a wifey. And that bitch ain't looking for no goddamn wifey. She cool with that Netflix and chill situation she got with you. That's why it's so hard to knock the bitch because you ain't doing no pimping. But anyway, man, I'll be here talking to for another motherfucking millennium, man. It's so much shit to say about this subject. But again, you know what I mean? If you been... You know, uh, even for the women, let me leave the ladies with some game. You know, seeing why I ain't catching like that. You know, why I ain't hitting licks like that. Why I'm not prospering in the game like that. Question, are you putting in the work? Do you still look the way you looked when you came in the game? Or have you gained a whole nother person? Uh, do you look like a stable by yourself? <laughs> Do you look like a stable of hoes by yourself? Have you destroyed your marketability, you know what I mean, by just eating, you know what I mean, a whole city and state? You know? Do you, you know, seeing I ain't catching dates like I used to. Yeah, I, I see by your stomach and, you know, the, yeah, I can see why. Are you putting in the work? If you're really serious about this game, you're going to keep yourself in shape. Oh, man, they're not going to like that. One. Fat hoes get money, too. See, when you really love this game, that's a shame that the first thing you thought about was just some money. Why not represent the game with good health? Not, why not be a good representation of the game and influence other young women to sit up there and physically take care of themselves? Why you sitting over there talking about, yeah, Yokozuna hoes get paid too. Vader hoes get paid too. Bitches that look like the Nasty Boys, bitches that look like the Legion of Doom get paid too. But anyway, man, I'll be here talking. I, as you can see, I can just keep going and going, man. Hey, do me a favor, man. Get my likes all the way up to 1,100. Everybody click on the thumbs up uh, button and let's touch 1,100 before we leave. I truly, sincerely appreciate all of you uh, for coming out. Miles, could you put the link to the uh, Sinful the P and the Family channel and give these, uh, give these new uh, people that don't know anything about the channel uh, an opportunity to come? This is a platform that I created, you know what I mean, for the people. If you have a platform and you want to increase in your subscribers, if you have uh, a business, uh, whatever you got that you want to promote, this would be the channel for you to subscribe and click on the bell to. Also, you want to send videos to me. Uh, make sure you got content already posted on your YouTube channel. So when I allow you to come up on the platform and 
you know, you announce your platform and why people should follow you. Uh, they can already see content already posted on your channel. You know, again, play, take full advantage of this. Uh, I'm not charging anybody. I'm not thinking about no money. I sincerely want to be a blessing to the people. So you should take full advantage of this opportunity. I created this platform just for the people. Some of you have been in the comment section way too long. You're too charismatic and too magnetic. You're too intelligent. You're too articulate to just be in anybody's comment section. We need to be enjoying the gifts that God has blessed you with. It's your time. 2023, you should be shining. 2023, you should be making legal income off of your experiences, off of your testimony. You know what I mean? Off of your game. Come on. Let me help you get in position so you can have what you want and need in possession without charging you anything for it. So by all means, if you're a talented, gifted, intelligent individual, you know, whatever you want to promote, you know, come on the platform and announce that and compel the people to follow you. That's what that platform is for. All right. So again, uh, I want your, uh, uh, yeah, man, we 24 likes away from 1100. Come on, y'all. And I'm going to put the link to my Patreon, my Patreon after I end this video. So it will be a blessing if everybody can come. Oh, and to my Patreon members, um, did, how did you like uh, from Hebrews to Negroes? Yeah, I posted that on there uh, last night. I, I finally know how to do things now. Movies that's at the theaters or movies that's new. You know, when I say new, we, within like the mm, five-year range or, you know, movies that just dropped today or this week. Uh, I'm only going to have those movies posted on the platform five to six hours. You know, I've lost so many Vimeo accounts, um, you know, because I was putting movies from the theaters uh, on there. But see, now I know how to move. So listen, if you want to see a film or if you want to uh, enjoy some game uh, that I ministered on this platform that uh, is no longer here, it's on Patreon. See, what happened to that video? What happened to this video? What happened to that video? It's on Patreon. If it's about the pimping and hoeing, uh, most likely you need to come to the $50 tier. Uh, if it was just some good game pertaining to life or maybe a trending topic, uh, nine out of 10 is on the $5 tier. Uh, movies, I pretty much allow all tiers to enjoy documentaries and movies. So everybody pretty much see that. You know, that's not a, oh, I got to pay $50. No, you don't. Come on. I can let you see something at the theaters for five bucks. It's, it's, it's nothing, man. It's nothing. Uh, hi to you. Blessings to you. <clears throat> Would you like for me to review uh, Hebrews and Negroes? Finally finished it. Okay. Uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Uh, make sure I ain't miss nobody. I downloaded it on my phone. Good looks, man. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. That was really that's what's best. When you see me post a brand new movie and you might be busy at the time and you don't have the opportunity to watch something within a five or six hour period. What you should do is download it. And so when you get off work or whenever you got some availability to do your thing, you know what I mean? Then watch it. And then you can just delete it after you finish, you know? But yeah, just download it. Can you post that Emmett Till movie? I already did that, but since you asked for that, I will post it again today. You're talking about the movie Till. I will post that today. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, well, cool. Hope in, in here late. Top of it saying blessings to the game. All that come with it. Man, blessings to you. And again, I appreciate everybody. It's time to wrap things up. Um, hopefully, I'll be live later on. Uh, might be talking shit later on, you know, uh, the early morning games is really for the teachings, though, you know, uh, but blessings to everybody. If I don't come back today, you know, we'll be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the same time, 10 o'clock EST time. If you're on the West Coast, seven o'clock, you know, what I mean, but uh, 
early morning game, 10 o'clock EST, man, you know? But uh, blessings to everybody. I'm going to put that link to my Patreon. Make sure you come. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dre didn't put all the links in, man. Okay, so good. Blessings to everybody. I hope you live as long as you want. Never want as long as you live. Oh, let me say this too. This month is the last month of $200 consultations. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that no more. Um, so, yeah, if you want to have consultation for that little bitty ass cheap price of $200, it would be to your blessing uh, to get it in this month. After this month, CN ain't doing no more $200 consultation. That's over and done with. Uh, blessings to everybody. I'm out. Hope you live as long as you want. Never want as long as you live. We out. I'm gone. I need to watch American Pimp. Okay, I, I, I'm i fighting to get that. You know, I lost that with the last Vimeo account, but I see what I can do. All right? These are the days of our lives. Okay, okay. Time to